It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week on the Brilliant Idiots, um, we're back. We're back, okay? That's all, we're back, you It's know? Wednesday, we were recording, and then some shit uh, messed up, but we'll get back. We're having a conversation. I'm going to propose to my girl tonight. Yes, he is. Um, is going down, and um, and yeah, and it almost didn't go down because we got into a little fight this morning. Charlotte was breaking down how, like, basically what happens is when you are going to propose, yes. or when you got a nice surprise, this is why surprises suck. I know what I got for you. This is more than a surprise, though. But this is more than a surprise. This is a life-changing, you're hanging your jersey up in the rafters, yep. all the ghost of pussy past are behind you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you are moving forward with this one person, mm-hmm. and you are committing to them for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. That is huge. That's huge. And I know that. Yes. But she doesn't know that. And that's not her fault. Yes. But she is operating with me... As if like you regular. I'm regular. Listen, I'm about I'm to take not regular. you regular. Like you about to take this to a whole nother level. You just not boyfriend no more. I'm if I boyfriend. ask you to do something this morning, yeah. yeah, it should get done. If I want some cereal, make me some cereal. Can I get some cereal, bro. No, I gotta Can go I work out. You gotta go work out. You gonna fuck around and not get proposed to? She asked me to walk the dog this morning. I'm like, on the day I'm gonna propose to you. <laughs> Did you ask me to do something? What time was it? I, it was 7 o'clock in the morning. Whoa! Hey, would you walk the dog? Hell no. I almost threw the ring right out the window. Now, the, now, 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 now. Um, you better go get that ring the with the dog re- you about to walk. Only reason I would walk the dog is because Method Man says in All I Need, I'm going to walk these dogs so we can live in a fat-ass crib with thousands of kids. So I would have took that as a sign. Like, oh, she wants me to walk the dog this morning. All right, Method Man, all right, I'm going to walk the dog. But, but if I don't want to walk the dog, I don't want no back talk. And I have every right to not want no back talk because in my head, I know how much money this fucking ring costs. Ooh. But she doesn't know. Yes, it's a problem. That's right. Okay? That's right. It's a problem. That's right. Okay? That's right. How much ring costs? It's, 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 it's a decent amount. You know what I mean? How much? How many, how many, tell you how, many, how many Trump stimulus checks? How many? Tr- oh, it's a lot of stimulus <laughs> checks, bro. <laughs> Heavily stimulated. Way too much. Way too much. Too I, much. Can't, I can't put a target on my girl's back, though. Ooh. But when did you buy it? I can't though. put a target on her back. She walking around with jewelry like that. Is it in short? Yeah, yeah. We oh, yeah, short. yeah, yeah. But when do you that buy the ring? me off, too. What? When do you buy it? I've been trying to get it over the last few months because you got to pick out, you know, you got to go and look at stones and everything like that. It's a whole big ordeal. You know, you get the ring, you know what you're going to do for this person because you love them so much. But at the same time, you you know what it is? After the ring, I'm going to get the treatment that I wanted the second I bought it. Does that make sense? Yes, it shows. You're proposing to her. Mm. In your mind as a man, you're saying to her, first of all, nobody else has proposed to you. I'm not saying you're not propose worthy. I'm just saying nobody else has. So I need I don't a little know bit that more for respect. A fact. You don't? I don't know that for a fact. I'm pretty certain of it, but I don't know that for you a fact. You should ask. You should ask. I don't want to know that. Yeah, because if she said no, no guarantee she might tell you yes. Charlotte, why would you do this? <laughs> Charlotte, 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 why would you the only? No, no. Nah, nah. Yo, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Why do I put myself through this every week? No, I'm just why saying. do I do this to myself we're for five this. years? We're rec- Charlotte the only person. Charlotte the only motherfucking person where you go, you go, yo, I'm gonna propose to my girl tonight, and he'll go, what do you think you she'll sure say? say yes? What do you think? What do you think the outcome of this evening will I'm be? I'm just saying. She might have told you to walk the dog so she can make a call to her other bay real quick. Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Charlotte, why are you why are you trying to get <laughs> No, this is great. I, listen, I just I, I would like, wouldn't you want to know? I hate him. Before bro. you get down on your knees and propose, I wouldn't you want to make sure? I hate him. I know, you, I know you were with your girl 14 years before you fucking proposed. I wasn't but sure. But some of us could be certain quicker. Wait, but, is today a special day though? Say like, what? Is, are you doing it? See, this is, the thing, because... this is the thing, Taylor, and this is the thing, the energy I'm around is Charlotte's oozing into you. It's today's <laughs> special day. It's special because I'm proposing. Yes, it's your proposal. It don't got to be no more special than that. It's Wednesday. But, <laughs> but the fact that you put that out there makes me feel like I should have picked a better motherfucking day to do a no, goddamn today's proposal. A good day. No, today's you're going to ruin it. You're going to ruin it for this girl. Now. I should have never brought this up in this podcast. <laughs> is now a good time. You are doing it close to your birthday. Now. Listen, yeah, is, she's gonna like, is now a good up. time to bring up today? <laughs> to, hey, 
today. <laughs> I'm going to walk out on my relationship. Shops. I'm going to walk out on this podcast. Listen. Everything's done. I'm leaving. Now, I, I will uh, say. Don't start with your hand open. No, I'm just Don't saying. start with your hand open. The second this happened, if I see Listen. this part of your palm, some horrible shit no. is coming next. All I'm Don't saying. even begin it. Today is Kim Kardashian's birthday. Mm-hmm. As well as Amber Rose. Whenever Charlamagne, <laughs> just no, whenever Charlamagne <laughs> looks like the white guy that won money off Jordan in the locker room, whenever Charlamagne got this pose going on, <laughs> there's some horrible shit about to come out of his mouth. All I'm saying is Remember Amber- Remember last podcast where I was like, I miss the old Charlamagne. I don't. Am- Am- <laughs> I don't. I miss the new one. Hugging trees, giving inspirational advice. I'm just Not saying- trying to break up weddings before they fucking no, happen. No, no, no. I'm just saying Amber and Kim have been through some relationships. Kim's been married three times. I feel hot. Amber- wow. <laughs> I feel hot in temperature. I feel hot in temperature and I don't like it. I don't like the temperature that I'm feeling right now. Do you have anything planned? What's the plan? I'll really turn it on the AC. I'll really go for it. What's the, out, pl- what's the plan for the night, though? How you going to do it? I'm tell- not going to tell y'all nothing more. Come on. Tell no, me the more information I give y'all, the worse I feel about no, it. So I'm no, not going to no, tell no, y'all no, nothing no, more. No, I might no. not even do it. We don't know what's going to happen. You'll see on Instagram tomorrow. <laughs> Just make sure you're down on one knee. Say again? Make sure you're down on one knee. How else is there to do it? I thought she got to get on one knee. She's getting a gift. (laughs) Yo, the ring I got her, she got to bend down on one knee. She should fall to her. She should fall. That's the thing. It should should hit her so hard. Then I bounce up. No, yeah, when you pull the ring out, she's like, (gasps) boom, then I stand up. Boom. Yo, boom. You do. Boom. I go. <laughs> you do. You, you do. do. Right, let me answer this for you. You, you do. do. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, proposals. Listen, propose. proposals are dope. I love it. How'd you do it? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <clears throat> well, um. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Listen, I hate him. We were in Anguilla, a uh, beautiful island that I love in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. And um, I had dinner on the beach. So I had the, because, you know, we were staying at this resort. It's the Four Seasons now. Back then it was the Viceroy. And so we had uh, this, this special dinner on the beach. So everything was set up, the candles mm-hmm. and everything. And, you know, we were just talking. And like you said, we've been together for so long. I think it was, a, yeah, we were together like 14 years up to that point. We've been together 22 now. So I'm talking to her. And I'm like, you know, talking to her about, you know, marriage, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 and I was like, I just want to do it right. I said, yo, if I, if I was to propose to you, I would want to do it here. You know what I'm saying? On, on, on like a, a beautiful island like this. And we'd be doing something like this, sitting down, oh, that's you know, having, having dinner. And then, you know. And then wax I, came and then, out of nowhere with the ring. Nah. And then I was like, <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, I would get up, you know what I mean? Like this. And then I would get down on my knees and she's looking and then I pulled the ring out. And she just burst into tears. Yo. So I have a question. She never got mad at you for not proposing earlier? God damn. Why you gonna Yo, do me like I did you show? in a moment like that? That was a beautiful <laughs> why moment. Why you do me like we I did show? We were feeling good. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, it hurts <laughs> now. Oh, oh, now it don't feel good. Do it, Charla. <laughs> I mean, just God damn. We can't even let the let the let the shot go no, in. No, we can't. Good job, Taylor. I don't know why I got his back for a second. Good job, Taylor. Taylor's just coming. Right, the most disrespectful woman in the world is the black yeah, woman. Yeah, say that because you're trying to say something mad disrespectful right now. Yeah, yes, Taylor, you are. Taylor come in hacking right after I just hit a game winner. Yeah. Like, God Wait, damn. Wait, you know, you asked the right question. Wait, Taylor. No, I asked she never got upset, said... Charlotte, 14 years. Yeah, I'm sure she was upset. I mean, like, I'm 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 positive she was upset. Mm-hmm. You know Pissed off every time you bring Van to Anguilla, she's like, "Fucking ain't gonna happen." No, this Van, year. Van, 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 no, Van. Why the homies always gotta come? No, 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 Can no, no, I get no. some time alone? I, I, I propose. I proposed I propose the first time we ever went to Anguilla. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna ever make it back. <laughs> I didn't know. Wait, why wouldn't you make it? I mean, I just didn't know the funds were different back then. You know what I'm saying? Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just didn't know. That was like 2013. You know what I mean? That was my first time in Angola. So I I just didn't know. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do it, let me do it right now. Mm -hmm. But, you know, thanks be to God, I've been going back to Angola quite frequently. That's fine. Ever since. But no, proposals are dope. All guys out there, you should really think your proposal's through. It's not, don't be like Martin. When Martin was like, okay, Gina, I'll marry you. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. really got to put thought into it and do it right if you really believe she's the one. Yeah. If she's not the one, don't even worry about it. You don't even have to propose. But a trash proposal could work, too. Like, my, my really? dad did a trash proposal. That was the 30s, though. 
I'm serious. What year was no seriously? What year was that? <laughs> that, was, that was a long time. It's, not, it's my dad. It's just my dad. <laughs> it's not my great great granddad. It's my dad, Sean. It can't be in the 30s. What year if was they it? got married in the 30s, they'd have to wait 40 years before I had that oh, me. Oh. So what the 50s? <laughs> Charlemagne. I'm serious. When was it? I'm not saying math is your strong suit, Charlamagne. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was the 80s, bro. It was the 80s? Yeah. Oh, okay. Even then, that's not trash. But it literally, he had no ring, nothing. He was just in a taxi cab there going to Chinese food. And he was like, yo, you want to get married or whatever? Maybe we should get married. Shout out to New York. That is the What's most more New, New York Yorkist than that? Yo, let's go. You in a fucking taxi? Nah, your Chinese you know the food? most New York way to propose, though, is you take the Tim off before you get down on one knee so you don't <laughs> crease it. That would be the most New York way. <laughs> That's what uh, Wax is going to do. You think so? Yo, shout to Wax. Heal up, Wax. I would love that. You in the backseat of a cab like, yo, let's get married. Yo, you know, you should marry me. Yo, you should marry me. They should marry me. Yo, what you doing forever? <laughs> yeah, what you doing Yo, forever? that's fire right there. <laughs> that's fire. That's fire. Yo, you got to use that tonight, Schultz. Yo, what you doing forever? What you doing forever? Ooh, I do like that, though. That is nice. Schultz, that's a bar. You got to use that tonight, Schultz. <laughs> Schultz, see? I'm back, Yo, baby! I need, I need to hear this proposal set. I know you got a set, bro. I got... Give me the set, man. I know you got a set. Hey, babe, turn your phone. I got something to say. <laughs> Yo, that would be dope too, though. Yo, what you think of this new sketch we did? Turn your phone. I got something to say. Ooh, I'm, no, no. Why not? No, use your word. Like, yeah, use no, What did I say before? God, Dave talked to him like he's six. Wait, use your words. <laughs> use your words. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Most well, disrespected Taylor. man is the white man being spoken to by a black woman. <laughs> that might be true. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. Did I get something hey, else right? That might be that true. That might be the most disrespected man. <laughs> I like that, though. I really do like that. What you, I, what you what doing, doing forever? forever? Ooh. Oh, let me write that's that down. That's rom-com status, Let me write that down so the kid don't forget. No, that's rom-com status. I like that. So we'll find out what happens um mm. next week. Shit, watch oh. he say, no, I come here dejected like a Ooh. motherfucker, bro. But honestly, you do you really that think head? that you... You really think that they're going to reject? Like, usually girls not going to reject. Nah, you got to be careful with it's Taylor. It's the kid, yo. It's the kid. You got to be careful it's with Taylor. It's the kid. It's Chelsea. It's the kid. That's true. But you got to be careful with Taylor. Taylor can dive into hater territory. Excuse me? Oh. Excuse she me? Don't, she don't even mean to. What are you talking she about? She can't help it. She, what is the hate? What am I hating about? Not being engaged. Why do I want to be engaged not right now? Proposed to? Why would I be proposed to right now? So you don't want the guy you want to propose to you? Maybe one day. But I don't, honestly... Speak it to the universe, honestly, Taylor. Yes or no? Me and Be- him had to talk about it, but I'm not going to discuss it with y'all right now. What do you say? I'm not going to discuss it with y'all. <laughs> what do you say? Y'all are crazy right now. What do you say? What do no, you say? we just had a conversation about marriage. That's it. He was asking you or you was asking No, him? we just had a conversation about marriage and that's all I'm going to leave it to. What was the conversation? Like, yo, we should never get married. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, you doing? what you doing for the rest of the year? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to quarantine together, whatever. I heard another lockdown's coming. <laughs> what you doing for the rest of the year? Um, what did you see this week that was positively brilliant? I made you say, "What a fucking idiot!" Oh God, what did I see this week? Uh, yeah, the Chris Pratt thing. What I think was was really. I'm stupid. over it. I'm over it. I'm yeah. over. I'm over social media. You want to break down what it was? Though? I don't even really fucking know. I saw everybody saying Chris Pratt was MAGA. Chris Pratt is a Trump supporter. Right. Number one, who gives a shit? This is fucking America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want to support Donald Trump, if you want to vote for Donald Trump, you have that right as a citizen. Just right. like I have the right to support whoever the fuck I want to support. Whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not judging you. I'm lying. I am judging you, but I don't give a fuck. Right? And then everybody just ran with this. So I'm looking to see what he said. Yeah. Did he put a hat on? Like, where did they get this from? I saw, I got nothing. Yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out where that even started. Yeah, I have no clue. I thought it started from this, like, uh, this magazine did this poll, like, who's the best Chris? Who was on it? Uh, Chris Evans, Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth, and then Chris uh, Pratt. And then they said Chris Pratt was the worst, and they were like, why is he the worst? And they were like... It's tough competition, though. Yeah, it's tough competition. I, mean, I think he might be the best, bro. I think it's it's Hemsworth or him. What do we, when, when you say the best, what are you talking about? Looks, dick? What do body. You mean? Body. Yeah, yeah what you body. Well, it's his body. No, no. And all, oh. honestly, I don't know. I just think it's, like, overall best. But I think like acting, looks, 
I don't like any of I like Chris Evans. I think Chris Evans is the worst, bro. Really? Why? Yeah, acting wise, he's not funny. Chris Hemsworth funny. That's Thor. Thor is funny. Chris Evans was funny in Fantastic Four. Chris Evans? Yeah, when he played uh, he played the Human Torch, he was funny in the, the original Fantastic Four. I thought funny. Michael B. Jordan was a Human. Second Torch. one. That was the that was the oh. relaunch of Fantastic. He's Four. been superheroing in this shit for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Chris Evans was the Human Torch. Yeah, I think Chris Pratt and Chris Hemsworth are top two, and then the other. I think Chris Evans is actually the worst, low key. And I'm not trying to hate. I just don't think he's that great. Really? Yeah. I would actually go with Chris Evans. Mm. I did an interview with um, Stephen Colbert for Interview Magazine, and I did it the week Chris Evans' dick pic leaked. Oh, does he have a piece? Yeah, and he uh, they, Captain uh, America they, they, worthy. Yeah, it, 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 America's Real penis. Talk? Bring America, it up, Al. America's Bring penis. it up. America's penis. You know I look at and, famous and, dicks, bro. You know I love looking at famous dicks. They asked me, Stephen what? Colbert <laughs> asked me. He said, "What advice would I give to Chris Evans?" I said, "None. He's getting great reviews." Yeah. Chris Evans is all the way to the left. That's the that goddamn the... guy whose eyes are matching his coat. That guy's a dream, bro. You're buzzing. Which one? Which one? Chris Fucking Evans? Chris Evans. <laughs> He's a dream, bro. That guy's a dream, bro. Yo, that's the most real shit. Just, yo, you really love Captain America. I think that you're you're like a rom- a romant- what, a romance. Is that the word? You're no, romance no, no, no. by think, the character. I just think Chris is the best out of all of these Chris's. Nah, bro. And I, I really think he wears do. a wig, dog. I think he got fake I don't even hair. know this third yo, guy. Yo, it's Thor, dog. The third guy. I don't know who that is. He's the guy that's in uh, well, uh, Wonder Woman. Who the fuck watched Wonder Woman? I ain't watched that shit. Oh, I didn't. Watch I thought Wonder you would Woman. watch it. You like? I don't. I hate DC. You know, I hate DC. Really? I hate DC Comics. So please don't think it's because I love Captain Marvel. So don't say it's, that was misogynistic. I just didn't. I don't like DC Comics. Yeah. That Chris I didn't watch Captain right. Marvel. Amazing. He's so corny. It was really good. I like. I mean, I liked it. Why? Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's all good, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It's why. all good, like, dog. You don't got a minute. It's all good. We. Know I like. I like. I like the fact that the scrolls was in it. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we don't care. Would you pulling up his penis or not? <laughs> I can't find it. You can't find Captain America's cock. Just go to Pornhub. <laughs> the they no might have. No, they might have. They might have. They might have. Go to you porn they or something like that. It's got to be. And it's not even on there? <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, it was bro. out, though. It was out. But I mean, yeah. Hard or soft? Twitter. Go on Twitter. Hard I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't see it. But. How the fuck you know if you didn't see it? Because I saw all of the women that I follow from Instagram to Twitter were commenting on it. Ah. And they were giving him rave reviews. Like, he, he, oh, yeah, yeah. He uh, allegedly got a five star dick. Five star dick. That's what I'm hearing in these streets. I don't know. Wow. Al, you got it? What's the guy's name? Chris, what? Thank you, Taylor. You could find them. (laughs) Dash. I'm going to be honest with you, though. Chris Pratt. I would rank him third on that Chris list. Okay, fair. Because you you overhype Chris Evans a bit, in my opinion. I mean, this other guy's not even a fucking superhero. Chris Pine is, yeah, he's not. He's not That's a superhero. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's not he's a superhero. He's like hero. an assistant or a secretary yeah, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I'm, being said, it's stupid. Like, why are we judging people by the worst intentions? You know, or like, not the worst intentions. Like, why are we judging people by like the worst values of the groups that they're part of? I miss the days, and I really mean this. I miss the days when people had their politics tucked, when people had their religion tucked. Everything isn't for everybody. Like, these aren't conversations. Well, that's literally what he does. He tucks it. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Wait, why are we laughing? Did I miss something out? Oh, I thought you saw Chris Evans. I was like, he didn't tuck nothing. Oh, no. I was talking about Chris Pratt. Like, he literally doesn't tell anybody about his lifestyle or what he does. He literally goes to a church, and then some people are like, well, they have anti-LGBTQ views. And it's like, well, it's church. They're not going to be like the most rainbow flaggy about homosexuality. Yeah, it's tr- all churches are like that. Yeah. For the most part. I mean, most I haven't been to church in a while. Worship. If churches are more progressive now, let me know. But I mean, most churches, they they they, they go, go off, the Bible, off the Bible, bro. Yeah, Bible yeah, yeah, is yeah, pretty yeah, clear. Yeah, man yeah. shall not lay with another man. And that's what it says. It says it's an abomination. I don't agree with that, but I just think that. Yeah, it looks like a black. How big dick. is the blur? Nah, nah, I don't want to see no Loch Ness Monster like picture black of his dick, dick right? bro. I want to see the full fucking dick. Mm-hmm. Where? Oh, so I saw, I got a different video then. You never fucked with the white boy, Taylor? He only ate, uh, white boy only ate me out. Okay. The best, though. He was all right. Nah, we the best. Um, <laughs> What we else happened this week? Oh, uh, yeah, the Chris Pratt thing is fucked up, though, only because I've, they, they do that to people all the time because we live in this, like... I don't even want to call it a game of telephone no more. Mm-hmm. People just don't do research. Mm-hmm. Like they did the same thing to Ice Cube when uh, Katrina Pearson posted about Ice Cube and saying Ice Cube 
was working with the Trump administration and yada, yada, yada. Like that never happened. Mm. Like and none of that ever happened. And nobody went to go to the root of it and see what exactly Ice Cube said. What was his connection? Like, because he came out saying that Ice he Cube, was willing to work with people who are trying to help black people. And he, he was working with the Platinum Plan, right? Well, yeah, he has a Ice Cube uh, sat down with like Dr. Claude Anderson and um, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins, my man Derek. Uh, I can't remember Derek's last name, but Derek has a PhD in economics from the University of North Carolina. And he sat down with a, a lot of different people to come up with this contract for black America, mm. you know, and he's been pushing the contract for black America. Uh, Ice Cube has talked to the Democratic Party. He's talked to the Republican Party. The Democratic Party told him, hey, we'll wait till after the election. Which makes sense because they can't do anything anyway. They're not in no fucking position of power. Mm. Their Trump administration read some of it. And because of what they read in that, they adjusted some of their platinum plan because of the stuff that was in Ice Cube's contract to Black America. Fire. Um, I, I I think so. And 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 listen, I think Ice Cube is doing what every American citizen should do. I don't yeah. care if you're Ice Cube, Donnell that delivers packages for Amazon Prime. Felicia, that goddamn souls in lace fronts for a living. You have the right to do what you want with your vote. Mm -hmm. You have the right to understand that your vote is quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. You have the right to demand things for your vote. You have the right to ask questions. Now, my question for anybody who's upset with, you know, Ice Cube talking to Ice Cube's team, talking to the Trump administration. Riddle me this. Let's just say hypothetically Donald Trump wins on November 3rd. I don't know if he is or not. Right. Are we not supposed to engage? Like, everybody's got a plan if Biden and Harris get in the White House. But what about if Trump's in the White House? What if your mayor is a Republican Trump supporter? What if your governor is a Republican Trump supporter? Are you not supposed to engage? I don't think we as black people can afford to sit on the sidelines and just wait for the party that we love to be in positions of power yeah, it, to demand things. This isn't uh, tribal. It shouldn't be. We're looking at like it's sports. It's not sports. It's the other team might win, but then they, they become your team. Whether you like it or not, they're going to create the laws that are for you. So you so should you be part of the process. Be part of the process. And, and, and by the way, only get thing, the most out of it. That's it. Only thing they can do is reject you, but I'm not mad at you for trying. I'm not going to be mad at Ice Cube for trying. Somebody has to engage. Like somebody has to engage. Now, do you want to make the argument that, oh, uh, you know, he's a rapper. Rappers shouldn't be having those discussions. All right, fine. Well, how about this? I just told you that he sat down with 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 with, with people who know what the fuck they're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what I would encourage, you know, guys like Cube to do is when you on TV and stuff, bring them bring them with you. Mm. Zoom in, Doctor Claude. You know what I'm saying? Zoom in. Let me. What's Derek's last name? Look up Derek for me. Put Derek. Uh, uh, economic. He has a PhD in economics from the University of North Carolina. Got like an afro. But like, yo, bring them on with you. Same thing with Diddy. I thought what Diddy did was dope this week. You know, I did an interview. Derek, what? Let me see. Is it Derek Neal? You put no put 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 PhD University of North Carolina economics. Uh, Diddy, you know I did an interview with Diddy uh, last week, and he launched our Black Party, but he didn't actually launch it. Our Black Party was already launched. Mm. It was launched by um, Dr. Wes Bellamy, who used, who's the former vice mayor of Charlottesville, West Virginia, and Dr. I mean not Dr. Mayor Candace Hollingsworth who is the mayor of Hyattsville, Maryland. So these are two people, one's an elected official, one was an elected official, so they have experience. Mm. So they crafted this, this black party, you know what I mean? For, for, for black people to be a part of, they don't want to be Republicans, they don't want to be Democrats, and they vote in blocks and they vote their interests. So Diddy's putting his money, his resources, and his influence behind that. But that's smart, because that's what he should be doing. Mm. Take that, take that, you know what I'm saying? Empower those people. And I think I think Cube should be doing the same thing, but I'm not mad at them for being wanting to be part of the political process, mm. for wanting to be engaged. Mm. Like why why are you why are we upset about that? Yeah, I think it's stupid. Derek Hamilton, there you go. That's but that's him. how we silence people. We just connect them to someone that's radioactive, and then uh, apply all that radioactivity to them as well. I mean, they try to do this with you all the time with Minister Farrakhan, right? Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. they go, you must feel the exact same way as this other person about the worst things that they feel. Exactly. When this, when when this, when there's people who have a storied history, right? Mm -hmm. Like somebody like Minister Farrakhan's been around for sixty years. Well, even even Minister Farrakhan, right? Like we don't have to use we don't have to use that as as a specific example, but you can get something out of 
Minister Farrakhan and when he he's talks. done a million speeches. Sure. The speech that I heard that I gravitated towards, which is about empowerment and uplifting the black community and unity and group operation. And I'm a, I study the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I love Malcolm X. So, of course, I'm going to listen to things that come out of Farrakhan's mouth. The things that you don't like about Minister Farrakhan, the things he says, don't tag that to me. Well, that's what they do because it's an easy way to silence you and get you to shut the fuck up. Yeah. But they don't keep that same energy with themselves, right? Because the idea behind that is I'm going to tag you with all the bad shit about this person yes. or company or church or congregation. But the person that's tweeting you got their phone made by Apple, you know, that uses slave labor, but they're not taking any accountability for that. Nobody takes accountability for their own bullshit. That's what I'm saying. It's like you Never. can only assume, why do we only assume the worst possible thing with the people that we're criticizing with their intentions? Why yeah. is it always the worst possible? Why does Chris Pratt have to live up to potentially the worst thing in that church? And why can't you, why can't you like, Chris Pratt for whatever reason I don't know why you would like him but I like Chris Pratt I like Chris Pratt I like, I like him in Guardians of the Galaxy too, he actually he actually funny too I like Chris Pratt I'm not gonna lie so why would you why can't you like Chris Pratt even if he's a Trump supporter right well I guess what I would you know what focus on with the Trump thing is like you don't know why he likes Trump like he might be a single yeah, issue yeah, voter yeah, yeah, right yeah, he yeah. literally might be like listen I don't believe in abortion and this is the candidate that seems like they believe in abortion less than the other one even though Biden's a about Catholic allegedly and Trump has probably had a million abortions but you're going to vote based on that one thing like if you're a black person and you're voting specifically on a black agenda and you don't care if it's Republicans or Democrats that bring it whoever does I'm not knocking a black guy for that just like I'm not knocking a religious person for voting for the person who they believe is more religious yes absolutely that makes total sense to me I mean listen that's what they, they got mad at 50 this week too uh, yeah they got mad at 50 because you know he he saw Biden's alleged tax plan, <clears throat> and he had a reaction that a lot of us had, but didn't say out loud. That's the thing he said out loud. Like <laughs> we all felt that way. He's like, no, what? We want to spend sixty-two percent of our money. Fuck, Fuck out of no. here, bro. No, you out of your goddamn mind. Fifty literally, yeah. his thumbs just tweeted out loud what a lot of us were, were, were thinking in our heads. But guess what else, Schultz? Mm -hmm. That right there mm -hmm. is probably the main reason people voted for Trump in 2016. No, that's the thing. People that's the reason. Money. Like, people don't want to pay that much in taxes. When you talk about single issues, Bruh. that's a lot of people's most singular issue. It's the only issue. <laughs> like, Yo, all these people, they, like, tie up their vote, right? They, they tie up their vote and they tie up their, like, their, their morality into these, like, noble causes. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, they go... Trump is, with all these QAnon people go, Trump is stopping the pedophiles. That's why I'm voting for him. All these people go like, I don't want big government. Like conservatives are like, I'm against government tyranny, government affecting your life, right? It's like, bro, you just want lower taxes. Shut up. You're not some freedom fighter. You're not Alexander Hamilton over here. Amen. Just fucking relax. You just want some more of your money. And I understand that. That's relatable. We all want a little bit more Everybody of our money. Everybody does. It's not the craziest thing to say. <laughs> I totally get it. That's why you, know, I, you see what I'm saying? Like, don't wrap it in some, like, noble no. cause. Like That's why presidential candidates have to release their tax plans. Because that means something to America. That means the most. <laughs> this is the most. In a lot, in a lot of ways, it does. So, I get it. I just I just think it's whack. Um, and this I think people it's... people don't realize with that. It's hard to cut, but, like... Your, the amount of money that you pay in taxes is the difference between like your kid going to camp that summer or not. It's the, it's the difference between creating generational wealth. Oh, that's what, on a big level. Yeah. I'm saying on a smaller level, it literally might be like, uh, do I have $4,000 for my kid to go to camp Word this up. summer? Nope. Okay. Word up. You can hang out with us. Word up. It's a lot. That's a big, big change in a lot of people's life. And man. I mean, even though Biden said he's only doing it for, and which, which, which actually is wild too. He said he's only doing it allegedly for people who make more than $400,000. Right? Right. Bro, do you understand when you four hundred thousand dollars? If you take getting sixty percent of that cut, that's not even that's 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 less than half. So you're taking home like what I don't know one fifty one sixty. Do you so, want to work from January to July for free, bro? <sighs> for free? Imagine someone said to you, "Yo, at the radio, we'd like you to work from January to July for free." What would you tell them? I gotta ask some questions. Yeah. I mean, by the way, a lot of people were presented with that this year, though. I mean, that's that I'm sure that happened at companies <laughs> throughout the country this year. You know what I'm saying? No, You're because because, though. you know, people do the things where they, they was furloughing employees or they want you to, you know, take weeks off unpaid weeks. You know what I mean? Just to save money. But that's um, different. That's sacrifice during a global pandemic. We're just talking about taxation. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. 
January to July for not free, bro. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. I think, honestly, if they take over 50%, it should be criminal. Because now I'm working for the government. They're not working for me. You're my employee. Yeah. By the way, Joe Biden is not doing that shit. Let's not, let's not get it fucked up. I mean, people always trip off, uh, you know, look at that shit, man. 62.6%. In California. I think that's what will rate. happen when you add city tax, state tax, and federal tax. 60% in Jersey. Come on, bro. New York State, 58%. New York City, 62%. I live in Jersey and New York. I work in New York. I live in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. You're double fucked. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're double you fucked. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, it's bad. But, but, but Biden's not doing that. And the reason Joe's not doing that is because people forget Trump paid $750 in taxes. He paid that low amount because of Obama's. Tax. tax laws, tax rates, right? So Biden's not doing that. Biden got too many corporate sponsors to be taxed. Well, that's the thing. The, like, the corporate people still get the loopholes. That's the bullshit with this tax plan. That's what I'm saying. I, I only looked it over a little bit. It's like you tax into people that don't have those corporate abilities to like get around the tax. So like you have corporations set up. You get paid as a corporation. So you right. can decide how much money you make technically. You know what I mean? The business can make the money, but you don't pay out yourself. But for somebody who's like a an executive at like some business and making four hundred thousand dollars a year, that kills them because they can't do the same amount of write offs. Lord have mercy. I have several businesses, thank God. But you have the ability to. But if you're an employee at a company, yeah, not man. the owner of a company, yeah, you might not. Man. And that's where they get you. And that's why the the really wealthy people they're not affected by this tax plan. The same people, <laughs> it's really fucked up. It actually just attacks this one specific section of, of the uh, of the economy. But it is what it is. And, and, and with that said, I'm 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 voting Biden Harris. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm voting that because I'm I I don't want us to. I really think we're on the we could be on the verge of being in a fascist society, and I don't want that. I think that's very reasonable. That's it. Like it's yeah. just it's just that simple. Like that's that's that's. That's my reasoning. And because I think, you know, right. for the things that are impacting black people, my interest, the black community, I feel like the left will be more receptive, yep. you know, than the right. But what I do like about, and this is what I'm getting to, what I do like about what Cube is doing, Diddy is doing, what everybody is doing, they're engaged. And yep. I want us to be engaged after November 3rd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of who gets in the White House, we yeah. have to keep pushing the line. We have to keep demanding things. We have yeah. to keep showing up the way we're showing up now. Yes, it's good Diddy has a black party. Yes, it's good that Ice Cube has his contract with Black America. Yes, it's great that Alicia Garza has the black her black agenda with Black Futures Lab. Yes, it's great that Tamika Mallory and them are on the ground protesting against, you know, the attorney general. Like we need all of that energy to make real change. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So yeah. I'm with it. I don't think that we should keep our we should keep our foot on everybody's neck. I don't care if it's Trump, yes. Biden, Harris. And by the way, we got to hold Biden and Harris more accountable. Yeah. More accountable because they're the ones that be out here acting like they give a fuck about us. Exactly. So when they get in that goddamn White House, put walk it to ass. Walk it. You talking that shit now? Walk That's it. That's right. That's right. And by the way, they have to because if they don't, you know, somebody like Senator Harris has to think about her political future. Mm -hmm. Fuck this up. You might not get another shot. Yeah, because right? you do it right. You might be in the White House for the next 12 years. Yeah. Maybe. We yeah, don't know. It's possible. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I'm so uninspired by both candidates. Me too. It's really hard. And I don't know. I might not vote, bro. But we get another debate tonight, though. That's it. Thank and, God for the entertainment. And they got the mute button. I don't like that. Yeah, but I like it because Trump's just going to actually yell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's going to yes. be that much yes. better. He's going to yes. yell yes. over and You're it will right. be picked up right. in Joe's mic. So you're just going to hear him at a distance screaming. Yo, if I'm Donald, Bring Joe, Joe's talking, yeah. mute the mic, nigger. <laughs> like, what did Joe say that? <laughs> what did Joe just say? I'm like, it's going to be fantastic tomorrow. I'm going to be honest with you. We don't need another one, though. I have to say, what a fucking idiot to whoever decided to have another debate. There's no mm. need. Do we really need another debate? Yes. Why? Because there's nothing else on, bro. <laughs> we need entertainment, dude. We just need entertainment. We really do. You know what I mean? We really do. You can only watch so many podcasts. Fucking you know what America, I mean? bro. It's, it's true. You know what I mean? Joe Rogan got uh, no podcast this week because Jamie got COVID. Oh, I saw that. And you supposed to have Kanye on this week. That's what they're saying. Yeah, you supposed yeah. to have Kanye on Friday. But that's the thing. So they're shut down. So we can't watch, uh, you know, three hour long Rogan episodes. Yeah. So I now we have a huge gap in our day. We need... A debate, bro. What did Simone say? I didn't see that. What did Simone say? The $400,000 thing you were saying. To be clear, Joe Biden is not going to raise taxes to anybody. 
uh, who makes clear. less than $400,000 a year. If you make more than $400,000 a year, a Biden president, your taxes will go up because he believes the wealthiest people in this country have to pay their fair well, we, share. That's not the wealthiest people. That's why I think it's absolute horseshit. Oh. And I like Simone. But exactly, you're not making the wealthiest people pay. You're making rich people pay, but the wealthy people are still going to pay zero. Yeah, Bill Gates not paying not no rich. fucking taxes. No. You think Bill Gates giving 60% of his money? Suck a dick if so you think So Amazon going to start paying taxes now? They've been paying zero. That's well, why that shit is going to come back to haunt them. Yeah, right they're, yeah, they're paying zero because they technically aren't making money. That's now, the genius of the system. What was we just talking about before that? Gay sex. No, <laughs> Joe Rogan, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Joe, yeah, yeah. Joe yeah. oh, I got Kanye and what a fucking idiot. Oh, talk yeah. to me, yeah. I just thought what he did was, I, like, he Issa Rae was on SNL this weekend and Issa Rae <laughs> yeah. threw, like, like, she just said, fuck Kanye or something like that. And yeah, F him. F, F Kanye. And, and Kanye tweets this. What, what's the tweet? Pull up the... Like, I've always I, felt I that up, SNL yeah. used yeah. black I'm voices to silence black people or something like that. It's not up there? I just like to read it verbatim because I just it sounds so stupid. You don't want to misquote him. I don't want to misquote him. You want me to look it up? Okay, there it goes. Kanye says, I've always said SNL uses black people to hold other black people back. My heart goes out to Issa Rae. I'm praying for her and her family. I know that the 20 years of service that I've paid in the entertainment field has furthered our ability to become more successful. I'm going to tell you what I hate about that tweet. Okay, okay. I can't stand when somebody says, I've always said about some shit we've never heard them say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've, yeah. We've never. Kanye yeah. has done SNL seven times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did SNL two years ago, yeah, yeah. and you had the MAGA hat on. You held everybody hostage on stage for an hour and some change. Okay, Chris Rock hosted SNL a couple weeks ago. Chris Rock wanted was going to bring you out. SNL said no because he's a presidential candidate. So if they give him time, they got to give the other candidates equal time as well. Mm. So from then to now, when did you come to the conclusion that SNL uses black people to hold other black people back? Come on, man. I think it's convenient, bro. It's, I, I hate that. I don't like that. And I hate when people play the race card when... There's the more than ones. enough racism going on out there. Yes. You don't need to play the card. The game is being played out Be there in the streets. And because of because of because a black woman had an opinion about you? SNL ain't make Issa Rae do that, Kanye. Everybody, a lot of black people feel that way about you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Like you're like you're, 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 Issa Rae's not the only person that feels like that. Like, stop. Yeah. Like, so who's using all the other black people to speak out against you? I'm surprised yeah, Issa didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, black people don't need SNL to speak out against you. Black people do not need anybody to speak out against Kanye West. Yeah. Kanye West, you do a perfectly good job on your own of making black people speak out against you. I don't know if it's the slavery was a choice comments. Yeah. I don't know if it's the, you know, Harriet Tubman freed the slave, but she didn't really free the slave. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. know. I think those are all valid reasons for black people to speak out against you. Kanye. Yeah. Hey, yeah. come on. Stop. Knock it off. What else we got? Uh, Tori and Megan. You want to talk about Tori and Megan? I was going to say it's an idiot because they're not confessing anything. Both of them? Yeah. What? You? <laughs> Yo, what? I'm still a Megan you, fan. Young Team Stallion? <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean? But they're not saying anything, though. Like, they just keep going around the bush about what happened. And it's just getting annoying. I don't even care about it. You know what's really funny? Rick Ross and Tori Lane's beef. That's been entertaining. I've been following out on Instagram. That was Have funny. you guys been following it? I did see a couple of that. Rick Ross tried to buy him the smart car. And uh, and then Tori called Rick Ross out about like promoting the Bel Air and shit like that. No, Tori said, I want my fucking car. No, but even before that, like <clears throat> he had a, a bottle of two bottles of the Bel Air and he tagged Bel Air in the thing. And he was like, yo, Tori, you should have dropped your album the same week as the Brianna Bird. I saw that. I saw that. And then Tori was like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't be promoting your champagne as you bring attention to Brianna Taylor. Yikes. And I think that was a good argument. I, yeah. Why are you promoting the champagne if you really care about the social issues? Like yeah. he's putting out his album promoting his shit. You criticizing him promoting his own shit while you promoting your shit. Yeah, I saw the live Tory did last night. Oh, how was it? I didn't see the whole thing. I just, I, I mean, I literally just heard snippets when Angela Yee was playing it over the air. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I feel the same way. I'm like, yo, Tory, don't. Why do all that talking when you can just tell us what happened? But Nina, technically, he can't say anything because it's an open trial. It's, it's, but he's he did a whole album about it. You're doing an IG Let me live. Tell you something. You're talking around it. Just tell us what happened. I don't care if it's an open trial. If I didn't do it, I'm telling you. Simple. Exactly. Simple as that. If someone said, "Yo, you murdered somebody," to me, Schultz, I'd be like, "I ain't do it." Yeah. Oh, it's an open trial. Good. I'm gonna tell them in the open trial, and I'm gonna say it outside the That's open right. trial. I didn't do it. If you didn't shoot her, 
just simply say you didn't what shoot happened. Her. Yeah, tell us what happened. Like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like it's it's just weird, and it, I don't I don't understand. It. I don't I really don't understand the logic of why he continues to even speak about it at all. There's a video apparently out of the shooting. Really? There's a video out of the shooting, and and yet no, it's you not. no no. One hundred percent. There's a video. You look it up on Twitter right now, and you know it's story because when he shoots, the gun goes pew. pew. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, yeah. <laughs> pew pew. Tori watches Brilliant Idiots too. He does. Yeah, he shout out to you, Tori. He watches Brilliant. Idiots. We know you watch uh, Instagram. I'm not gonna say shout out. I'm just gonna say Tori watches. <laughs> hold on now. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Hold on. Hold but no, on. no, no. So I can I'll shout out Tori. Shout out Meg. I just hope. Everybody. Well, does Meg watch Brilliant Idiots? I have no idea. Probably not. Probably not. But I, 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 I just wish healing for everybody in this situation. She's and healed up, bro. She was dancing. She was I'm doing talking about emotionally. Whole... Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Emo- <laughs> just emotionally, and <laughs> I, and, and, and I hope she whatever. Got Wolverine level healing, bro. Imagine to be dancing the next day after a well, gunshot, it, bro. Was it the next day? It was no. a couple days later. She was dancing on a virtual uh, performance. Remember. No, cause Meg can dance her ass off. Though. I saw that Meg. I saw a video of Meg this week mm-hmm. dancing Amazing. to some song that she said she was going to do a remix to. And that shit just make you want to have an ass. It does. Huh? It just make you want to do that shit. Her ass is uh-huh. Like the way it is, it's like its, it's own like, instrument. Yo, it's, it's like amazing. a muscle. Like it just looks wild. Like the way yeah. she did it was like on some Chris Brown, Michael yeah, Jackson yeah. level choreography. Yeah. Like I've never seen a woman. I know what you're doing right utilize now. Utilize her ass like I that. know what you're doing right now, what? and you don't need to do it to me. But I understand what you're doing right now. What? <laughs> what? I understand what you're, when you just see something, and you're like, oh my god, that's so fucking hot. But your girl's next to you, so no, you gotta, no, no, like, no, 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 act no, no, like there's no, no, technique and shit involved. You're like, oh yeah, the moves <laughs> and the choreography. This is like Michael Jackson, babe. It's the, no the, different. The, the, the same texture. thing. And look, it's, it's a texture. muscle. Have you seen her dance? What sort of muscle group? Have you seen? I seen her dance. Okay. Pull up the video. I got yes, tons I of evidence up, crusting up my amazing. socks of her no, I'm dancing. Not, oh, yo, I'm not even joking. I'm this video is night. different. It's something. This guy's crazy. What? This, what? <laughs> this video is different. Yeah, like it, it, it literally it's looks like bro. moves. Yeah, it's moves. Isn't I'm it? serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen well, this bullshit he tried to pull on us? Like we're not doing it. We haven't done this exact thing. In that way, but she was actually in a dance studio. I've Every, seen her twerk like regular. Like, look at this shit. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, why the fuck is this sideways? She's bent down. Holy shit. Yeah. No, oh, why? Just why? Just, and look you got how it goes. you got to hear it with the music. Just push. It. See, look, 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 look. Hold on. Do you see JT from the City Girl? JT from the City Girl said, "Girl, how the fuck you do that? That's real. Yeah, you got to yeah. watch it." Young Miami says, "Okay, let me get my shorts. Hold on." Why is the shit sideways like that? Shorts. I'm telling you right now, this shit is like the moonwalk, bro. Listen, I know what you're doing right now, and I'm going to roll no, with you not. on it. it Anytime you compliment that. another girl, you have to make it science. No, no it's man. not. Yes, it has it nothing is. to do. I so promise wait, you. your girl will get jealous if you comment on a girl's that. Like if Hold she's- on. We're watching this right now. So right now, she, this is how you... Okay, she's just twerking. Back no, and man. It's something else. Do your head like this. Turn it turn, turn it sideways. Let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. Yeah, yeah. I've seen all this before. No, it's the way she started it. Start Go back to the beginning now. And... And you got to hear the music with it. The way she's on beat with that shit, yo. I promise you, this has nothing to do with her ass. Bro, she's up on her goddamn toes. God, she's seven for yeah. I don't be paying no attention. I don't look at other women. But it's still amazing. I'm not it's saying crazy. that. I don't, I don't buy any. I know what's going on. I mean, not, you're good at amazing. this, Charla. You're good at it. Can but... you do that? Say what? Can you do that? What you just did? The bullshit that you just no, pulled? Can I do that? Do I'm an expert at it. I've been doing this for years. Let's see. How do I bullshit? How would I bullshit out of that? <laughs> play the video. I'll show you how I watch that see. with my girl. No, I'm saying, could you do play, that dance? Play that video. I'll show you exactly how I watch that video with my girl. See, I'll show see. you exactly how you do it. This is, listen, you but it's very simple. This is all you do. You watch the video and you go, this is what I, I, go, I go. Oh, shit. My knees would explode if I tried to do that. Look at <laughs> How the fuck does she get literally babe my ankle? Which you just talk about injuries, all that kind of other stuff, and how difficult it would be for you. Look at that. It's the truth, though. This is yo. I'm telling you, it's it's something do about God, this. Do people like this? That's the other thing I do. I go. Do people like this? <laughs> Why would anybody be into that? Like, what's going on with that? That's so yeah. weird. That's such a weird thing to that do. Is like, a this universal... has nothing to do with her yeah. ass. I promise you. It's, yo. Yeah, it got nothing to do. It's, with it's, nothing to do with it's the move. It's the movement. Yeah, it is, Charlie. man. This shit is like the moonwalk. Bro. I saw the moonwalk. 
Google Michael Jackson moonwalk. You know what the moonwalk is? Stop bullshit! I had enough of this. I had enough. I'm not dealing with this anymore, so, man. Google Michael Jackson moonwalk. How do you nah, bro. How are you comparing the moonwalk to that? That's Let me tell you. That is. You know how you could do the moonwalk? You could do the moonwalk on how slippery the floor was after you watched that video. That's where you could do the moonwalk. <laughs> now look at ho, ho, ho. Look at look at Michael Jackson, uh-huh. right? And then think about Megan. Yeah. That's Slash. Yeah. You got, you got to fast forward. Come on, fast forward. You'll see him. You'll know who he is when you see him. There you go, Alex. Come on, a little bit more. You'll know exactly who he is. You'll know when he's doing the moonwalk. Here it goes. There it goes. goes. Ooh. Get it? Ooh. Got Come on, man. The stallion. <laughs> Come on, yo. Come on. Come on, man. You can't tell me you didn't feel that when you saw him do the moon. When you saw Megan do what she did right now, it didn't make you feel like the moonwalk? The stallion. No, it didn't. Sean. Come on, bro. Because I wanted to do the moonwalk when I saw it, and I did not want to do whatever Megan was doing. Why do you think they call her ass the moon? <laughs> the moon the she's mooning God. you the moonwalk <laughs> come on bro it's the correlation yeah, here I yo that you. right there is, yo come on man what's effortless one motion and she's dancing to a song no I can't believe you haven't seen this before she's that right it. there yeah this she is, do this shit this is the most it's <laughs> literally for everybody who's just listening all she's doing is twerking nothing new that about the way true. she's twerking it's a dip- wait, 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 new. She's it's not it's a toes. particular type of twerk though don't make it seem like it's just some regular shit let's I, try it say what let's try it alright you go first and then I'll do it <laughs> <laughs> hold on listen wait <laughs> this is one I'm just, I'm just gonna show you are so committed no, 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 you no, no, are no. so committed this is how difficult this is this okay, like, go. she's on her tippy toes yeah, yeah. knees yeah. fully bent you got it and yeah. she's doing this <laughs> <laughs> yo honestly I bet you can't do five you look like a turtle had a stroke <laughs> that's what you look like right now dude that was terrifying what you just did right there I'm was absolutely saying, terrifying bro. but I appreciate I appreciate the commitment. I appreciate the commitment. <laughs> I'm telling you, on your on your tip, you gotta go lower. You gotta go lower. Look how low she is, show. That's what I'm saying. Now you you gotta have a new respect for that, bro. No, I have a respect if she had a tampon in. Because sh- oh that right, thing would come out like a fucking okay. scud missile. Okay? <laughs> if, she, if, if she had a tampon in, that would put a hole in the floor. The way that she's twerking <laughs> like there, there's not anything keeping that thing lodged in. I can do it. You can't do that you with a tampon in. There's no in. way. A tampon you in? Yes. You can't do that. Your car not strong enough. Let's see. You can't the, floor do that. the floor is Taylor, yours. The floor the is floor. yours. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, let's see. Look how low she is. She's yeah. on her tippy toes. Nah, 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 nah. You can't do you that. You can't do that. Like yeah, Look how low she is. That. On her tippy toes. On her tippy toes. Shake it. And, I, and by the way, I ain't even bounce my ass. I yeah. was just doing my knees. She bouncing her ass She's and doing her, her knees. Ass also. Let's see. <laughs> Taylor about the rips and sweat. <laughs> Yo, come on. She don't got she don't got four in her. I don't know if you got this. This is Let me too see how much. Low you get. Hold on. Wait, it, go to that that part right there because I think that's probably better. Okay, no, go. go. T- turn that way. Turn that way. Yeah, the other way. No, the other way. The other way. I yeah. see you. Towards the camera. <laughs> All right, go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, do you got to do do to your legs in and out like she doing? Oh, all right. That's actually good. I know how to do it. Like, come on, I'm not dick. Yo, shut up. Yo, shut up. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. Yo, did you guys hear what she said? She wasn't on mic. What'd you say? You scissor chicks? Wait, what'd you say? That's insulting. I ride dick. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> Took the air out of the room right I there. Know. Taylor, I started goodness gracious. Me too. But I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> People will take that the wrong way. Edit it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Should have been on the internet for years. I ride dick. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. All right, let's pay some bills. Bro. Um, this is a good segue. Let's talk Blue Chew. Yeah. Okay? This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. All right, let's talk about something we could all use more of right now. Sex. Great sex, okay? If relevant and comfortable. Oh. Well, have you, you used Blue Chew in your sex Man, life? come right? on, bro. I'm not playing around. You know what she's getting for that engagement. I'm going to be chewed up and chewed out, bro. Let's be honest. Proposal dick is different. Proposal dick is different. You know why? Because once you propose, she says yes. When you put it on her that night, Mm. she has to say in her mind, I'm living with this dick for the rest of my life. So you got to give her that. Give her that blue chewy. Oh, no. I'm chewing down. I might double up. Ooh. I might double up. Ooh. 
Ooh. I might go super duper hard. Ooh. Same active ingredient. This is a Viagra Cialis. So you know that shit is going to be Ooh. rock. I, the blue shoe makes me be able to control it better, to be honest. Control the nut. Really? For me, 100%. It feels amazing, but I could control it. I go out there. I knock it out. She wakes up. You know what I mean? So hold on. Yeah. Blue Chew doesn't keep you from nothing? For me, I have more control on Blue Chew while it feels okay. amazing. Okay. It's unbelievable. But uh, so it's bluechew.com. Uh, make sure you use the promo code idiots and you get it for free. You just got to pay $5 shipping. But dude, I'm telling you, she won't get chewed out tonight. Listen, man. Yeah. Um, Blue Chew is made in the USA. It's prescribed online by licensed physicians. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to the doctor or wait in line. It's even cheaper than a pharmacy. And they prepare and ship it right to you in a discreet package so your girl won't even know what hit her. Okay? And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free. When you see our special promo code, idiots, just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's bluechew, B-L-U-E, chew.com, promo code, idiots, to try it free. Please be sure to use our promo code, idiots, at bluechew.com. Today's episode is also brought to you by Quip. Guys, when was the last time you got rewarded for brushing your teeth, all right? With Quip's new smart electric toothbrush, good habits can earn you great perks like free products, gift cards, and more. The Quip smart brush for adults and kids, by the way, connects to the Quip app with Bluetooth. Track when and how well you brush. Get tips. OK, coaching to improve your habits. A lot of you don't know how to brush your teeth and you realize that now that we're in quarantine, you wear those masks, you smell how stank your breath is. So you need to learn that shit from Quip. All right. You have to earn points for daily brushing, bonus points for completing for uh, new challenges, redeem rewards. OK, from Quip and other partners. Now, if you already have Quip, upgrade it with a smart motor. And keep the features you know and love, okay? They got the sensitive sonic vibrations, two-minute timer, 30-second pulses, and a guided clean. Slim, lightweight, sleek, with no wires, no bulky charger to weigh you down. Multi-use travel cover that doubles as a mirror mount for less, uh, for less clutter. Look, beyond the brush, Quip has everything that you need to build a complete routine. Mint and watermelon toothpaste with anti-cavity ingredients for strong, healthy teeth. Floss, they got the refresh bag for your good oral habit care everywhere you go. Plus, you get the brush head, toothpaste, floss refills delivered from $5 and shipping is free. How smart is that? Join over 5 million people who already use and Quip, okay? To start right now, all you got to do is is you go to getquip.com, that's Q-U-I-P, getquip.com slash idiots right now to get your first refill free, okay? That's your first refill free. Go to getquip.com slash idiots, G-E-T-Q-U-I-P.com slash idiots. Quip, better oral health, made simple and rewarding. The announcements are a very important part of what we do in church. Yeah, I got some church announcements, nothing nothing crazy. Just, uh, me. you know, few was on my shirt. Black Effect Podcast Network. Yeah. Uh, we launched um, Ebony K. Williams this week. Ebony K. Williams with Holding Court. Okay. Um, I didn't even know Ebony was going to have a, a, a co-host, Dustin. Yeah. You know, you know, we know Dustin. I love Dustin, yeah. man. It's I, a good one. I produced that one. You produced it? Uh, the first episode is called um, Breonna Taylor, Make It Make Sense. And, you know, I love Ebony K. Williams. I think Ebony just has a knack for breaking down you know, legal cases in such a digestible way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Probably because she's younger and she's, you know, of the culture and maybe also maybe because she's from North Carolina too. So I just, I get, I get it when she talks, you mm. know what I mean? So I think, um, you know, anybody who has any questions about any legal cases, that's going to be the podcast for you. Mm. Just, just because of the way she is able to break things down in a very objective, non- emotional, non-biased way. It's just yeah. like, these are the facts of the case. That's great. If you want to know why somebody got off, that's great. this is why they got off. That's you know great. what I mean? I think that's super valuable right now. Oh, especially, yeah. Not only just with police brutality, but just with anything legal. Like, you have all these cases pop in and we get these emotional reactions to to the decisions when we don't really understand what's going on. We have emotional Absolutely. reactions to not even the decisions, like what they're charging a person for. Yes, Ebony's dope. Um, salute to Teslin Figaro, Straight Shot, No Chaser podcast. That's available on the Black Effect uh, iHeartRadio podcast network. Top 200 in society and culture, Teslin Ooh. is. Um, my man Steve Smith cut to it. He's top 200 in sports. Uh, All the Smoke is top 10 in sports. Um, who else is out there, Taylor? Yeah, oh, salute to the Gangster Chronicles, man. Gangster Chronicles number two. In the music category. Hey, you know yeah, what me I mean? Too. You produced that one too? Okay. Salute to the Bravo, Gangster Chronicles. Taylor. Salute to my guy Steel. Salute to uh, Mob James. Salute to MC8. Um, 
they they first episode had Too Short on it. I forgot who they got on there this week, but Too Short is on the first episode. So yes, go subscribe to all those podcasts, Black Effect, iHeartRadio. Um, yeah, let's get back to it. Um, damn, I wanted to talk about something you just said too. What was it? It was something you just mentioned that made me think about something, yo. I hate what that. What were you talking about? You were talking about the legal shit. Oh, the the cop in the Breonna Taylor case. He did an interview. Oh. I, I forgot who he did it with. One of the cops. Okay. And he said, you know, it it it, it frustrates him when he sees like all the protests and things like that because um, it wasn't racial. You know what I mean? The shooting wasn't racial. Uh, I, I, I agree with that. I don't think that, you know, they went in there with the intention of killing any black people. But I think what made it racial is everything that happened after the fact. You know what I'm saying? If it had happened to a white person, you Absolutely. feel like there'd be a much different outcome. Absolutely. Interesting. Absolutely. I think and is that on the cops or is that on the justice system? I, I think I think both because they're part of it because, you know, they they Ooh, they thought they could get away with it. They thought they could get away with it. Mm. They 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 tried to cover it up. They didn't call the ambulance. They didn't and when the ambulance came, they told the ambulance to leave. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like yeah, I think that everything that happened after they realized, oh, that's a little black girl, or a, a, a young black girl, f- cool. I think everything after that was racist. The injustice that happened, the fact that Daniel Cameron didn't even present it as a as a murder. You know what I mean? He didn't even present it as, like, the body was, mm. the, the shooting wasn't even in the... I think that's a good slice. In the, uh, what's the shit called? The transcript or whatever. I don't fucking know. In the, uh, whatever they're accusing, the accusation. Yes. Yeah. So I think, charges? Yes. So I think everything after her race played a role in it. I don't think the actual shooting did. And then, yeah, yeah. And I think it almost seems like a lot of this case, what people are upset of, obviously, outside of an innocent life being taken, but like the way it's been fucked up is what happened after the innocent life was taken. Yes. Ebony breaks it down really well, too, on the podcast about like why there's basically no justice for Brianna. In, in a legal way? Okay. I'm, I mean, listen, I haven't got a chance to listen to it. I'm listening, listening to that today. It's a lot of podcasts. It's a great idea, though. If you knew that there was a place that you could go once a week and just to understand the legal side of whatever big story was going on, that's a valuable asset. Holding court with Ebony K. Williams and Dustin. Yeah, what does Dustin great. do? He's just like the co host. So he just, you know. Is he, uh, does he understand law and stuff like that? No, I think he's asking questions for her. Like, so Oh, she got you, got you. I so like he's that. He's an everyday like person. He's us. Yeah. He's like, what am I curious about? about this case because Ebony might understand certain things about the case and take that for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Whereas you and I might go, yo, just explain what the hell, what a, a, a what is it, a, an indictment means. Yeah. What is, you know, what are these? That's dope. And they yeah. add their opinion on like with the Cardi B and divorce thing and like. She, she breaks all, all that. that down. That's good though because then they, people can email their questions. What do you think about Dustin? Cardio? I love Cardi. What no, do you mean? No, no, no. Like, like taking back Offset. Like it's a relationship. Yeah, but like I don't know. I don't give a fuck really. But it's just funny to me. Like the week before, she's like, "I'm in control. I'll do whatever I want." She this is. Idea. And now she's they're in back full together. control. She's yeah. doing what she wants to do. That's full control. Yeah, full no, control. But it's still also petty because then they said it may seem like she did it just to get back at Offset. Like she made he made Maybe her she mad. Did. Sometimes you got to put yeah, the fear of God in but- your man. You see, but, Young Buck's, young Buck's uh, baby mama shot at him. Yeah, but she it's did? also public. Shot at him. Hey. Nobody cares. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no, nobody, ain't nobody cares. Wait a minute, she shot, shot at, him. at him. Yeah. It's on Shade Room and everything. Nobody gives a fuck. The double standard is disgusting. Shot at him. <laughs> said he shot at Young Buck and said, dance, bitch, dance. No, and nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> That's not what happened. Pull up the story, Alex. I know I can read. Hold on. All right. Hold the hell on. Nobody gives Young a shit. Young Buck's wife shot. Well, uh, you know what's I don't know if up? his wife, baby, mama, girlfriend, somebody. You know what's fucked up, bro? This is fucked up. What? All I'm thinking right now is what did he do? <laughs> I'm a victim blamer, bro. I'm a victim blamer, dog. I'm like, what could this man you have done? You want to hear the whole story. Yeah. yeah. You know why, though? I'm going to tell you why. It's not that you're a victim blamer. It's that you have faith in people. Right? Okay. So being that you have faith in people. He must you, have done something crazy yes, to make her act exactly. that way. Exactly. You can't just automatically think, nah, he didn't just put I'm not assuming she's gun. crazy. There you go. I'm assuming she had a reason. What the hell did <laughs> Young Buck do that yeah. she had to shoot at this guy? Yeah, the way she biting that bottom lip, though, boy. She might be a little guilty the way she yeah, biting the bottom lip. I'm not lip. saying she's guilty. I'm just saying when you biting that bottom lip like that in a mugshot, you just still wishing a motherfucker would. Ooh. You just shot at a person. Now you wishing this motherfucker that's taking your mm. picture. Lucretia Neal. 
to Luke go Luke down Christian a little there. bit what more. Actually, say? hold on, because it says in a developing story, former G Unit member Young Buck's girlfriend was arrested for firing a weapon at the rapper Lucrezia. Lucrezia. Lucretia. I mean, she got crazy. That's in Lucretia, the name, bro. No, that's Lucretia. Lucretia. Lucretia Neal was arrested and charged with reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. It is unclear whether or not Young Buck was injured in the shooting. And investigators are still searching for Buck. Think about that. Young Buck got one, two, three fucking sentences after getting shot at. Ain't no think wow. pieces. It ain't no Twitter outrage. No wow. nothing. He didn't even get the a double standard is so real. Yeah, I want to go on her IG live though. What is her IG live about? Who was talking about this? Mandy was talking about that, about how like she's like, girls need to hold their other girls accountable. For hating on men and everything else. I don't have nothing to do with that. That's a woman conversation. I will. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have it. <laughs> Come on. I got to get this out before I'm married, bro. <laughs> After tonight, and be all soft like Charlotte. Man, I can't wait. I'm not wait. touching that one. Now. That's good. <laughs> I can't wait. Yes. Get married. Soften Schultz the fuck up. I can't wait. <laughs> this is gonna be beautiful. This is something I wanted to fucking talk about right before you said that shit, yo. Or did I get it out already? Maybe it was the legal. You're stuff. talking about the legal stuff. Oh, okay, I got it. Out. <laughs> but that right there is a double fucking standard. That's yeah, disgusting. it's messed up, bro. Come on, man. Imagine if Young Buck had shot at his girl like that. Oh no, that oh, would be. Horrible. It would be. Uh, come on, man. You'd see, you'd see so many think pieces, so many people saying black men don't protect black women. Like, that right there is just toxic. That's too, that's, I'm not going to say too toxic people because I don't know what the fuck is going on. But that's, if that is true, what they're accusing this woman of, that is just fucking toxic, I need yo. to talk to this woman. I need to know what is worth shooting at someone for. It's Listen, a lie. But what is worth shooting like for at? Guy, for, exactly. But is cheating a <laughs> shooting offense? You got to know who you're cheating on. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. You got to know who you're cheating on. You might be cheating on the wrong motherfucker. Fuck him. Ah. You cheat on the wrong I almost person. killed my dude for cheating Whoa, on me. Oh my God, come on. This That's current serious. guy? No, 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 no. You this had is like a, a pass. And he cheated, cheated on you? you? almost killed somebody. Okay. Um, I first pepper sprayed him. And then we were tussling. Somehow he got a scratch right here. I don't know where, Somehow. but I definitely. Can I even pick up? Uh, wow, you one of those? You black out and hurt people and don't even remember I how you hurt I them? Never knew I you took a I knife never knew I could to get his throat? I never you knew I could get that man. Neck right Taylor. Right. No, I did not. <laughs> did not. You just no. said that. You no. said that somehow yeah, you got somehow a cut on his throat. You said a... you pulled out a knife no, I didn't. and somehow he got scratches <laughs> on his throat. I'm terrified, though. I did not say that. I thought that was some gangster shit. I was like, hey, Taylor really a gangster. Yo, Yeah, I pulled out a gun and somebody got shot. I don't know how they got shot. Yeah, that was what you said, basically. This is crazy, yo. I never knew I could get that mad though. But I was living with him and everything. It was just a disrespect. How the girl looked at him. Yeah. Of course she was fat. He was fat? Yes. Yeah, but he, did he bust mad. that down though? That's what made you mad. <laughs> 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 no, bro. Did you, oh, did, no. did you ask him if he ate her out? Oh, oh, <laughs> don't you try nothing, Taylor. Don't you try nothing. Did he eat her out? I don't know. But he, but he broke that. How big that was she? Philly fat. Philly fat is fat too, bro. Yeah, that's a big girl. That's <laughs> a big girl. She'll have a hard time in that chair. Well, she Why? Have a hard because time he out? bent <laughs> that over. <and> just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you? Did you walk in on them no, doing it? No, I had a intuition. I looked in his messages and I saw her say, "I missed it." <laughs> intuition. Like, she looked in his bag. Where do you get all these snacks? <laughs> Why do you have all these fucking snacks in your bag? <laughs> Well, you that would be snacks. a good hint too, because he was mad healthy. So where'd all these snacks come from? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> all these tasty cakes. Interesting. Imagine these... when you start eating all these tasty cakes. <laughs> so what happens? So you start you pepper sprayed them, and then I was you start... mad. And then this thing when I get mad, I'm calm. Like so, I was just looking. He was asleep. I was looking at him like the whole time. I looked at him for me like five, ten minutes, just think like trying to calm down. And then just burst out. So I just like end up hitting him, whatever. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Da, da, da. And he just looked shocked like, I don't know. Da, da. What fast just, food restaurant did he ever name on? Was it Golden Corral? No. <laughs> <laughs> he he kept a real number? I don't know what the fuck her name was, but Damn. I punched the shit out of him. Maybe like, she I was, missed the dick from way before. No. Are you positive? And then you know the how timing? you know. And then he tried to pull like, "Oh, she just gave me head, nigga." Don't fucking lie to me. No, and like just, maybe she no, does miss the flavor. Because he ended up omitting the whole thing dick. afterwards. If she was a chunk chunk, 
She likes lot, eating it. A lot of guys <laughs> say it's a Snickers. A lot of guys only like to get head from Chunk Chunks. He fucks they too. How sure? do you know yes, that? Yes, he said it. Maybe he's he, positive. Maybe yes. it was her mouth that he fucked. <laughs> That's a possibility. That's why you no. hate fat people. I don't hate fat people. Yes. Oh, what are you talking you about? No, that's true. Because anytime Charlotte about? jokes around, you have like a PTSD Ooh, moment. She gets mad as You do fuck. get mad. That's you, interesting. You know why? Because you don't want to turn out to be what you hate. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Conversation. And granted, yeah, granted, like, I'm not even mad at that shit no more. Taylor told me some wild shit earlier today. Taylor said, "I'm sorry. Was it wilder than trying to murder a human?" It was kind of crazy. She said that she got her period. She said the first time she got her period, she thought she was sick from eating um. No, I Max did not. Cheetos? You are Max such a liar. Steak, nah, get out yeah. of here. She did. She He's such a liar. Yo. She said. She said <laughs> it's coming out of all holes. <laughs> yo, yo, wait, so what? <laughs> she, said, she said the first time she got her period yeah. she went to Max's in Philly and everybody told her don't go to Max's don't go to Max's so she, she ate went. the cheese stick oh, no, and she dude. said she got so sick she mm. didn't know it was her period damn y'all that's <laughs> you crazy you just make this up in your you head you did tell me that no I did not what that's did you say crazy. you said something about I your I said nothing about no cheese stick you said the first damn. time like, you got your period you thought you was dying exactly that's it you said that's it that's the end of the, no that's the end of the period that's it I don't remember that <laughs> That's it. Period. <laughs> okay. Are we just gonna skirt over her trying to murder somebody? Is that everybody's? Look, I man. tell, but look, I tell. We clearly all, don't care. I we tell over all... young buck's girlfriend trying to murder him. Now we skirting over Taylor trying to. Kill I tell him, man. all my guys too. I told him from the jump. You could die. I'm not the. <laughs> I tell him exactly that. I'm no, not I the one. I told you, you could die. So you could die. Know what it exactly. is. Exactly. I'm not. I tell him all the time. I'm not the one. I'm really not. Don't try to play with me. You gotta know you. You gotta I'm know you cheating serious. on you. I'm serious. My mom never even seen that rage out of me ever. And, and that's the but, scary part. You don't know how crazy your girl is until stop? you cheat. But how did it stop? That's that's the thing. That I'm, I'm I left. About. I'm not the one to go back. Like no, I no. Left. How did it stop the fight? How who stopped the fight? After you pepper sprayed him and, and cut you him put with a knife. fucking knife to his throat. Uh, what made you stop? What got you out of the rage? <laughs> 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 No, um, he like was trying to hold me, whatever, until I like just stop wilding out. And then you stopped wilding oh, out for a little bit. Hands on you. <clears throat> he just like hell. He didn't like hit me or nothing. No, nah, but he was. He if he, was, first of all, Charlamagne, you really think he'll be living right now if he hit me? No, that's a good point. He he like, come on. If but he, Charlotte, he may not have hit you, but he yeah. shook the shit out you. He didn't shake me. He, he just, stopped her from shaking. Shit out you. He didn't. He wouldn't shake him. He just trying to make me stop. I was like really. So he just the held you. Him. He's trying to like hold me. I'm trying to like get off, like him trying to get off me. And you think he was good at holding you because he's been holding he that fat bitch for a long ass time? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, this weight is nothing. I can handle this weight easy. <laughs> what are you, 100 pounds? 100 pounds. I've been he, throwing 250 I, up these last like... few weeks with this big old heifer. <laughs> <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, she was a heifer. She was a half. Now, now your, your, your Philadelphia oh. queen, our Philadelphia queen, Patty LaBelle, loves to use that word. Heifer. You got to use it in context. You know what a heifer is, right? You know what a heifer really is? A cow. A young cow. Yeah, but you can't say the ER, dude. Heifer. <laughs> heifer. 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 <laughs> Domestic violence is not funny though. It's That's right. Male or female. Dudes, man. Don't cheat on me and then we'll have no That's problem. not domestic wow. violence. I'm dead ass. Yo. A man saying some shit like I'm that. Dead That's ass. true. Imagine that shit. <laughs> yeah, I beat her true. up. But don't cheat on me and you won't get beat up. God damn, can you imagine? That's because scary. it's that simple. Why are you doing some shit? Like, is that simple? Why are you cheating? Because you WAP! What? what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why do, no, but why, honestly, why you know why, though? Why do blame the man? No, it was definitely I, the, emotional, though. What? Because it was emotional? I didn't, I'll be honest. I was not, I was not that right <laughs> for a girl for him anyway. But it wasn't emotional, though. It was emotional because he only likes her because he got, she bigged him up. You know, oh, I get you don't think that like he I called her? him, I told uh, him that he's that's unambitious. For other reasons? So that, that's so the that same dude? The that's one you called unambitious? And then he was out Shout there. Shout out to him, yo. You deserve that heifer, yo. I respect you. 
Look, I taught, but look, I taught him a lesson. I bet he's not gonna cheat no girl again. Yeah, he is. He's just not gonna cheat on a crazy one. I bet you him and that big girl still together. And I bet you she done lost weight. Good for him. Like I didn't want I bet you she in shape and she bigging him up still. Good for him. I'm in a happy relationship. I'm not mad. You need a big up your man, yo. You need a big up. Ladies, don't listen to this shit. You need a big up your man. I need fragile egos. That's right. That's literally all you gotta do to have a happy relationship is make your man feel amazing. I I mean that 100 percent But I wasn't, he just me and him didn't match anyway. We probably wouldn't have been together even if he didn't cheat. Okay. <laughs> but the best thing we got out of your story is that you have to big your man You got to big your man. Le- on, listen, man. ladies, we're not telling you what to do. You don't have to. But if you want to have the easiest relationship in your entire life, you just big your man up. Not make even, him feel special. I-, I promise you it works. It's literally that simple. And not even just the easiest. If you just want to have a healthy relationship, make me feel special. Because I'm, I'm always trying to make you feel special. That's Tell it. Tell me I'm the motherfucking man sometimes. That, if, 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 if I that, really that am. Hard? Even if I'm not. <laughs> Y'all out here faking orgasms <laughs> on fake love. Word. Like the fuck? <laughs> You know what I'm Keep I'm the fake going. orgasm and give me the fake validation. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I'll figure bro. the orgasm part out. Trust me. Wait, what? You figure it out. Oh, your yeah. Your toys, your tongue. You know what I'm saying? You'll figure that part out. Yeah. But I if, thought you said, I'll finger it out. And I was like, oh, yeah, that works. What? Well, it could. You, that's what I'm saying. You put I a little rabbit was... on your finger. And... You put a rabbit on your finger, did you Yeah, say? you know the little rabbit toy? Oh, the uh, vibrator. Boom. That's a hey, bro. That shit does all the work for you, dude. Let's go. To, let's do some shit you won't care about next week. Um, what we pow, got? The Power Rangers Young Buck. are getting a reboot. The Power Rangers. Who gives a fuck? I never was into the Power Rangers. Oh, actually, really? can can I bring up a question that yes. you have it here? This is not some shit that you won't care about next week. I think we'll still be caring about so this. This is a deep dive. This may be a deep dive. Let's go. I. I I'm curious. I don't really know the full extent of what's happening with SARS in Nigeria. Me neither. This is not the disease. That's what I thought when I first Initially, thought. I thought it was that. I'm not, I'm, immediately, I thought it was the disease. But apparently, the SARS is a like a, a police force. Police unit. It's a police unit. And I guess that they've been allegedly, and again, I don't know the whole story, so we're just asking questions over here, but uh, they've been like abusing people, maybe possibly killing people. They've been acting like police. They've been acting like, oh, shit. <laughs> police brutality. <laughs> In Nigeria. I mean, that's. I mean, that, from what I've gotten from the story, yes. I actually hit my girl uh, Cuppy. Salute to Cuppy. I actually hit her. How's and, Cuppy? What's what's she what? good? I mean, Cuppy was out there protesting, but I wanted her to download me on it because I want to talk to somebody that's actually on the ground out there. You know what I'm saying? And what'd got, she say? I got mad love for Nigeria. It's a special I, anti-robbery squad. Yes, but I heard that they started abusing their power. Yeah, they are. Okay, so I haven't spoken to Cuppy yet. She hit me back and she just like, "Yo, it's crazy," but I haven't actually spoken to her. But. From what I've gathered from it, it's literally the same thing that's going on here in America as far as police abusing their power. They were protesting. Well, yeah, I mean, it's still abuse of power. But they're protesting it, and now that's what's getting fucked up. Isn't that fucked up? The three of us, people of color, and then this white lady knows what's going on. Wait, what? (laughs) First, First of all, you didn't even hear what Paige said. You didn't hear what Paige said. Paige said that they, they're, they're a unit and they move in on people. And uh, one, of, one, one of the officers killed their best friend. And then they cut open a hole in the floor. And one of the guys that was part of the SARS unit didn't want to take any of the money. So then one of the other cops plotted to get that member of SARS killed. But when he took him to the uh, people's house and they went to go kill him, the guy that was going to kill him found his niece's wallet in one of the SARS people's pockets. Oh my God. And so when, when he, he was po- about to shoot him in the shower. He was about to shoot him. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So that, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what yeah. Paige was describing yeah, just yeah. now. about. And he was a little, he was, he was high. He was on acid or something like that, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, he yeah. thought it was regular cigarette. He thought it was regular he, cigarette. But one of the other members that. of SARS passed it to him and made him, made him get high. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's that's what that's what Paige just described. And you just big you just bigged her up. My damn, like, yo. you just you just bigged her up like you know. I'm just saying. That's you watch one movie, Paige. <laughs> you watch you you watch one movie. But just because Denzel Washington's black but don't mean they're... he's Nigerian, and don't mean it takes place in Nigeria. Paige, it is essentially abuse of power by the police officers. They're yes. killing the people that's protesting. I just like I mean they weren't wow. killing us, but like they're like literally killing. The people that's protesting because they set like a curfew and then they went over it and now hell. Jesus. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. In SARS, from what I'm hearing, yeah, it's not a strong enough hashtag, bro. Like they need something a little more. Like 
Like insar, because I don't know what insars means. When I saw insars, yeah. I literally I thought, thought it was, it was disease, like bro. a disease. Like, yo, it's got to yeah. be something a little stronger that speaks what to would you say? the gravity. I don't know. I don't know enough about it, but it just sounds like like insars like don't sound like it, it, it doesn't speak it's to confusing. the gravity of the movie. The average person associates SARS with the virus. The disease. Yeah. That's literally what I thought. Like, literally when I first saw it, that's why I didn't really pay much attention until I started seeing, like, the videos and seeing, like, people that I know in Nigeria actually talking about it. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is going on in Nigeria? Yeah. But it sounds literally like it's the same type of abuse that's happening uh, with the police. So yeah. by next week, we're going to be ready to talk about this. And uh, I'm sure it's not going to stop within the next week. No. Nah, uh, yeah, nah. we got to talk to our Nigerian folks. And uh, how do you end it, though? That's my yeah. other thing, though. That's what I really want to know. Like, what is the end? Because how do a, you end it? Because that's the thing. You could end SARS, but they're just going to put that power in the hands of another police unit. And then they're going to re replicate the same thing. So this is it's probably a similar situation that's going on over here. You really need to reform these uh, these systems. You know? I'm sick of it, bro. I'm so sick of like, I'm sick of people just abusing their power just because they have power. Like to me, that's the most cowardly sucker shit anybody can do. Like when you have power, yeah. what you should be doing with that power is helping people. Yeah. That's real power. Yeah. Like, like real power doesn't come from you just being a bully, <laughs> from you being intimidating, from you, you know, killing people to get what you want. Real power comes from like you have it and now you use what you have to help Others, yeah. everybody else. To me, that's power. And by the way, yo, can you imagine? Think about this. Think about all the dictators in the world who've mm -hmm. done things like, you know, change it to where I'm going to be the, 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 the leader of this country forever. If you just treat people great. They might fuck with you. They might. Can, can I be y'all president forever? <laughs> Seriously, if if I just treat you great and treat the people great, and I and I hold people accountable when they abuse their power against y'all, and I make sure everybody's eating and the economy's good, hey man, can I just be y'all president forever? And you think they'd allow it, huh? Why wouldn't they? <clears throat> you know, maybe the tricky thing is like, in order for some people to live a life of luxury, other people need to live a life of poverty. I don't believe that. It's kind of the way it works in a capitalist society, man. I don't believe. I don't. I think. I think it's it works some, like that in a capitalist society, but I don't think it has to be that way. And we don't have to have a strictly capitalist society, but there's always going to be someone that needs to work for someone else, right? I mean, that's just the mm -hmm. nature of things. Like if you know, that's you, fine, you have employees and you pay yeah. them well. Like you take care of them. Well, maybe I don't know. We'll talk later, Paige. And uh, point is, it's um, uh, there are oftentimes people at the top that don't want to sacrifice. You know, ourselves included, like we were having this conversation earlier, like we don't want to pay 60% of tax. Maybe that would make, I don't know if that would make it all better, you, you but maybe, maybe if we felt that if we paid that much in tax, that poor people would actually get that money and it would help them, then we'd be more willing. That's it. It's, it's really just maybe that that's simple. It, yeah. If I knew where my tax dollars were going, yeah. if I knew they were going to the communities that I needed it to go to, <clears throat> yeah. I would be fine. Like if somebody sent me a picture and they were like, hey, your money bought these books for this school that's in a poor and disenfranchised neighborhood and paid for this salary of this gym teacher and all these different things. And you got to go, oh man, I'm really helping making a difference. That'd be dope, man. Yeah. Let's go pull, on. Pull the camera back a little bit more. Go on, go on. Let me see the school. <laughs> okay. I don't want you to have nice books <laughs> and nice salary if the school is fucked up. Let me see the school. But what about the other side of that coin? What if you got the report card for where your taxes went and it's like, yo, you, your taxes paid for this missile that blew up this, you know, Yemenite wedding and that, that killed these four But that's where it goes, though. Exactly. And now you're like, oh, shit, I don't want to be responsible for that at all. So maybe it's better that we have no disclosure, right? Maybe that uh, ignorance is bliss policy works when it comes to paying our taxes. No, it actually pisses me off because I know my tax dollars are going to fund the military. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know my tax dollars are not going to the communities it needs to go to. You know what I mean? That's why I guess people want to live in these 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 luxurious neighborhoods. Mm. That's why your tax dollars are going. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those communities are great. Their schools are great. Like, it's just, no. I, I don't, I don't, I just, I hate it. I there really can do. be a better system, man. They, I don't know they, who's going to There definitely could be a better system. There can be a better system. Because I don't think that the wage gap has to be that way. I, and by the way, if you are, you know, the head of some company and you're making money, the more money people got, the more money you'll always have. I mean, that's the idea. Who gives a f like, the more money you got, the more you will always have. And you can afford to give people the best of things, There's right? A, yeah, what's the uh, Ford, the guy, Henry Ford, who made, you know, the Model T? Mm -hmm. I think he made it affordable enough so his employees, the ones that made it, could buy it. And that was, like, revolutionary. Why wouldn't he just give them one for free? 
Well, shit, maybe that'd be the nice thing to do. If you make it, <laughs> get a little discount. If you're at McDonald's, you can make you a Big Mac, you take it home. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> if, you can if you can assemble a Big Mac, if you can assemble one of them goddamn cars, you and your crew take it home. Maybe cars back in the day were like a only luxury item or something like that, where like you had to be the richest of the rich to get it. But I think that's a really brilliant way to go. It's like, yo, if I can make something that the working class can buy and there's way more working class and there are rich people, shit, I'll make way more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. figuring that out, maybe we got to apply the same thing. Yeah. What else, Taylor? Well, you say you don't watch. Um... Hold on. What? <laughs> you say you don't watch. Oh, why do I want to talk about that? Beyonce on SARS. I saw that. That was some bullshit. I'm going to tell you why that was some bullshit. Y'all have to stop thinking just because y'all don't see it on social media, it's not happen happening. And by the way, give people a motherfucking minute. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like everybody wants people just to react. Like people were upset because Beyonce hadn't spoke out about SARS. First of all, I love Beyonce, too. I am a Pinkett Smith Winfrey Knowles Carter. Why Beyonce? Why is she the person that you have to hear from in regards to what's going on in Nigeria? Well, yeah. the person said because, you know, from the movie she just did or the Black is King. Everybody, everybody does that to Africa, to the continent. Like, Beyonce's not the first person that got influenced from the continent and created some art. I know. I'm like, just saying that's what their their preaching. argument is probably the same way that like you feel about like white rappers when they come to the Breakfast Club. It's mm -hmm. like okay, you're gonna use our thing, which is the dashiki, the the dress, all these types of things, all these cultural artifacts that Beyonce has no connection to outside of like doing 23 and Me, right? I don't think her parents know the direct lineage to Africa, do they? Well, I mean, she, I mean, you probably she probably tried to find out, like we all did. Of course, of yeah, course, yeah, you yeah. do, but like. Uh, growing up, she didn't have that connection. So they're like, okay, so you're using these things. And I don't know if they, those things are explicitly Nigerian. If they are, then I would see the connection. But yeah, I don't acting like so, Africa is a monolith is kind of unfair. Like, the, there are different countries. They have different cultures, speak different languages, different religions. Like, you can't just go, yeah, all of Africa is the same thing. That's kind of insensitive, too. But, like, if she was, you know, basically like taking nigerian culture and like wearing it and profiting off it and then there's an issue happening in nigeria where she wasn't addressing i can see how nigerians would be like oh you it wasn't even a nigerian that said it what is that it wasn't a nigerian that called her out it it was i think so that tia was savage I is think she, that her process I is. I don't know. I, I thought Savage. she I don't was. Know. Salute to but I think Savage. that's where they're coming from. That like yeah. same like when a white guy comes on the breakfast club as a rapper, you're like, what are you doing for Black Lives Matter or something yes. like that? And it's a reasonable <laughs> question. It's like, yo, you're gonna profit off this music, and you're gonna profit off our culture. So what are you doing to you know, help us? Yeah. Give her a minute. <laughs> like, yeah. like give her a minute yeah. like we don't know we like somebody like Beyonce can't just jump out there and make a statement yeah she's, she's from Nigeria, Nigeria. Yeah. oh I'm sorry T.O.Y. Salute. oh I take the T.O.Y. was absolutely right then she called her yeah. <laughs> yeah. T.O.Y. clearly knows more about the situation than I do but my point still well, it stands well worked though Beyonce came out and said something so but we don't know like... if she she probably already was I know you just got to give her a minute. Like, I, listen, yeah. I know we live in this world where everybody wants to react, 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 react. Yeah. Let her come out and make an informed statement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After doing some research. Yeah. I don't know anything about the SARS situation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I want to speak to my people. I want to see what's going on. Only thing I've gotten from it is that it's, people, it's police officers over there abusing their power. I'm always going to be against that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to always stand against that. Yeah. Always. In SARS, yes. Even though I think they need something a stronger. We're gonna work on the branding name because I just, I just, I need to know how we end it. Because we're saying end it, I need to know how. Yeah. And I'm all in and helping, uh, you know, the, the, the my, my people in the motherland. But all I'm simply saying is just give people a chance. Yeah. Don't just press Beyonce and be like, yo, what are you doing? But I can't be mad at Tia Wah Savage either, and I tell you why, because Tia Wah is probably in Nigeria. She's going through it. She's going through it. Yeah. And it's probably been going on for longer than we know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. now she's like, where the fuck is everybody? Also, it's like every day when another person dies, it's hard to wait. Yeah. You man. know what I mean? Like yeah, when people yeah, are dying, yeah, it's yeah, real yeah. hard to be patient. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's sad. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, man. It's I'm tough. sure you go through that as a black person where it's I like- I was about to say that, yo. Yeah. It's go. tough. It's tough. It's tough being black because I people, don't have yeah. enough bandwidth. It's always some shit. You know what I mean? Uh, like every other week, it's something. Every other week, it's a new situation. Police abusing a, a black person, killing a black person. Like, think about all the people that don't trend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Think about all the things that don't trend. And I, I guess I guess the way I was going with it is that uh, 
I'm sure there's plenty of people. Maybe I've even said to you on a, on a, on this podcast, which is like, yo, there's so much progress being made. We're going to get there. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah, so yeah. easy from the outside to look in and go, yeah, we've, we've grown so much in the last 40 years. Look how much better it is to be black in America in the last 40 years. But if you're black in America now, you're not going like, oh yeah, it'll be perfect in a hundred years when I'm dead. You want it now. And, and rightfully so you should be able to want it now. That might be the sacrifice though. I mean, a lot of brothers and sisters from the civil rights era didn't get to live to see the America that we're that we're Oh, in we're always sacrificing for the greater good Absolutely. of the future, 100%. But at the same time, those brothers back then weren't satisfied. They weren't like, okay, this is enough. No, 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 not at all. 100%. 100%. Damn. So what you think about um, the Barney remake? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there is really a Barney remake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he he said the reason why is that's because, doing from Get Out that's doing that yeah he said the reason why is because Barney taught us I live love action you, you love me won't you say you love me too that's the one of the first songs I remember and what happens when that isn't true <laughs> oh my come on God, bro Joe. come He's, on I'm bro. telling you man motherfuckers are so woke man they gotta get some sleep bro they tired Joe like you're not yourself and you sleepy bro yeah, I love you much. you love me won't you say you love me too but what happens when that isn't true? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Hold on, let me think. I love, I love you. Give me a second. You love, I love me. You. Won't you, love you me. say, say you, you love, love me too? too. With a knickknack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. But what does he mean? What happens when that isn't true? When Barney As doesn't in, love what you? What if you don't? Oh, is it if Barney? No, that's love when you? Barney does some shit. If you don't love Barney, Barney acts like Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Barney's coming with you with the pepper spray. This this movie can't be yeah. no more than five minutes long because what happens when that isn't true? Well, I hate you, you hate me. Won't you say you hate me too? Boom. Yes, done. End of the movie. Yeah, it's simple. The opposite what if of Barney love starts is taking hate. people out, bro. That might happen. Barney might start taking people out. Barney, <laughs> Barney's kid, my kid. They want he wants hugs, right? Yeah, Barney he might be like the wish call it. Um, what's that? Pennywise. No, who's the Avengers? Uh, not Avengers. I'm Big sorry. Big Bird. No, 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 Muppets. no. Who's the clown? It it no yes you that's guys, the clown no, Pennywise no you yes, guys it is. it that it's it. <laughs> that's what it is it's the guy it's it. McDonald's that's... Ronald McDonald the Burger Joker King. thank you Burger the Joker King. Burger King <laughs> it's like the Joker wasn't it's he Wendy's. not stop <laughs> Wendy's the Joker. fish fillet fish fillet Long John Silver's go. <laughs> go but wasn't he like a nice guy and then you know the Joker. No, yeah, he had that shit Chris Rock got. He got the he had a learning disability. That's what, <laughs> you know, he had that little nonverbal learning verbal or whatever. What no, is that stupid I shit forgot. Chris Rock made up so we could feel bad for him being a millionaire? I'm not going to shit on this movie. Can we shit on Chris Rock pretending that he's uh, autistic or whatever Oh, he is? my God. What do you Get mean? Get over it. I'm just tired of everybody got a, a disability. Everybody need to be disabled. Why, why don't you have a disability? I do. I just don't brag about it. What is it? Big dickitis. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And a special woman about to find out tonight. <laughs> BDP, big dick proposal. Exactly. Big dick proposal. We'll talk, we'll talk about disabled. Some of be wheeling back to the crib tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> Big dick proposal. I'm, I'm not gonna shit about. on this movie until I see it, but um, it don't sound appealing. Like this, I can't believe. Can you imagine going into a a, a, a session, a TV studio to pitch mm -hmm. this a film? Mm -hmm. uh, I got this concept about Barney. You know, how Barney says, "I love you, you love me." Won't you say you love me too? What happens when that isn't true, bro? That's how terrified Hollywood right. is of black people, man. Is I, that you could pitch that movie as a black dude, and they're like, uh, I think he's got something. I think, I think he's on to it. I think not. he said, "Look, he said I thought it was really heartbreaking. I have no idea why, but it feels like that makes sense. It feels like there's something unexpected that can be poignant but optimistic. Oh my god! Especially bro. at this time now, I I'm think sorry that's to, really. I'm neat. sorry to interrupt, but it just hit me like you were like you were saying like I'm not going to shit on this movie like that term shit on. But there are people who enjoy being shit on. How do they feel about that term? Yeah, that's true. No, that's true. People get paid. Like, they pay women. They pay women and them. guys. Guys like to get shit on, and they'll pay. Like, back in the day, that was the thing. They'd fly you to Dubai. Yeah. And that was the thing. They wanted the shit on They will take They'd give you big dollars, 50000 So Big you, dollars. Yeah. To take big shits. 
I'm serious. <laughs> they would do that. They would do that. <laughs> what? I love when 21 Savage. I love listen, I love to hear them young boys say that. I, 21 Savage and Benny the Butcher, uh, they'd be like, big, big, big money. Big stepper. Big, big, big bit lease. Big B. This big everything. Big. Big. Big, man. Big. <laughs> when you say it, you got to say it with your chest. Big. <laughs> Podcast. Let's go. Fat Joe does that too. Fat Joe be like, big, 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 big. The big show. <laughs> the big podcast. What you were saying? About big shit? <laughs> big shit. Big shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine getting excited? Like you a guy and you want a girl to shit on you? Yo, that's so weird. Like, Take a big shit on me. <laughs> big shit. <laughs> big shit. You paying a girl money to shit on you. What does that do for you? Bro, I don't get it, dog. I do not get it. And where do they shit? Like on your tummy? Chest. Some people like on the chest. Why you said that so fast, Paige? Yeah. Paige. But why on your Bro, chest? What? what does it do for you the girl? You can't even see it if it's on your chest. It's like you got to look like that down. It'd be easier on your stomach, and then you could see it better. Nah, who wants to see it? Oh, well, if you're, you're into it, that's it what you want to do. I think yeah. that's a power I can't thing. See. I think when we talk about abuse of power, that's a power thing. I think just the fact that you can tell a person shit on me. But is it set up the day before? Like, do you pick what they eat so you know what the shit is going <laughs> to be like? <laughs> no. Well, it's submissive. They're like a sub. Yeah, because imagine if, imagine if I could make, imagine if I could tell you take a shit right there on the floor right now, and then I would just do it. That's power. Yeah, I guess that's you know power. What I mean? But even on the floor is just a little bit more understanding. Like you see how it hits the floor. There's like a whole thing. But on your chest, it just seems odd. I would need to pick the the dinner before. I'd need to pick the shit. I need to pick the material of the shit. Corn. You don't want nothing runny. You want corn and you want lettuce. You want things you could see. Yeah. And you want it to be solid. Yes. Like just come out one piece. Just like a cliff bar. Like an Ishka Bibble sub. Yeah. What else, Taylor? All right. Um, come on, Taylor. Come on. I need a big story. <laughs> come on, Taylor. Let's go. Did you want to talk about, like, I guess T.I. and the urination? His friend, uh, I mean, that, that's such an old story. Like, nobody cares. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, they they blew that out of proportion. If Drake really unfollowed Ti for that, that's kind of. I, I think it's corny, bro. It's corny. It's like, yo, it's not like his friend peed on you to disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? But also, I think it's corny of of Ti to even bring it up. No, I'm gonna tell you why. In the context of the song, it made perfect sense. The song is actually a great record. It's called um. It's actually called "We Do It Big." <laughs> it's actually the name of the song. <laughs> it is. It is right. With John Legend on it. Um, we did it big. Yeah, we yeah. did it big with John Legend. And he's rapping about Falant, you know, rest in peace to Falant. And he's rapping about Cap, rest in peace to Cap. You know, Falant got uh, shot and killed and Cap got killed in prison. And if you listen to the song, like T.I. is talking about moments in their life. And you need to bring up the moment where some peace splatters on Drake. That's Bro, the that's best a part of his life. Bro, come on now. That's a moment. Schultz, <laughs> come on. Schultz, you're out of your fucking mind. If I peed directly on Drake, yes. Yes! But he didn't. He was peeing in the no, aisle no, no, and no, some no, splatter no, 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 went no, no, over no. to Drake. No, that's not what I was told. I was told some splatter hit Drake. My little brother used to do that. My little brother used to be drunk and, and he would get up in the middle of the night. I remember one night I was sleeping and he got up and I just heard something. And I looked up and he's just like peeing. Yeah, yeah. Like he passed the bathroom. Yeah, sleep peeing. And yeah, yeah, and came in the room and just peeing like on the wall. Yeah. I had a buddy who would do that when he was drunk. He would he would sleep. Exactly. Peeing. Yeah. So I think that's what happened with the dude Cap. He was drunk, stumbling around. Pull that dang out. And, out. and, and Drake peed. is kind of porcelain colored. <laughs> Do you think I just don't do you, think I just don't, you don't think, think it's possible he just thought he was a urinal? I just, <laughs> he just started peeing I just all don't over. I think he was trying to be disrespectful, is what I'm saying. I just think it's kind of corny to bring it up. Like you got a lot of other shit you could talk about. You don't need to bring that one thing up in his life. I don't think that's gonna be on his tombstone. No, it, it's, it's a lot though. But I mean, if you're talking about <clears throat> different moments in somebody's life, and you're how, not talking about all the other people he peed on. You talking about Drake? He peed on Drake. It's Drake, exactly. Big P. That's, big that's the difference that's between big, big P, P and that's just P. IP. You know what I mean? That's big P. That's, that's big, big P. Yellow. Big Sorry, yellow. Drake. Drake is the color of dirty urine. Whoa. <laughs> what, if, Whoa. Listen, what if he wasn't that color before that? Huh? What if he wasn't that complexion before that? And that's what changed him? 
he was he was darker or lighter, and that urine change him is complete. Wow, dude! Shots oh, fired. Hashtag Tory. <laughs> What, yo, big Toronto, like, big Canada. We need to build a big wall, all right, <laughs> around the whole country, around that <laughs> seat in the movie theater. That's what we need a wall. <laughs> no, what else, Taylor? Um, Fifty Cent is about to start making horror films. Oh Perfect. shit! Perfect. He'll find a way to do it. This Perfect. guy is just this. This guy Perfect. is fucking impressive, bro. <laughs> Perfect. I am like thoroughly impressed. Perfect. Bobby uh, Smurder denied parole. You scrolled over something. Go back. I want to talk. Let me see Kendrick. Oh, well, Kendrick. I am absolutely positively waiting on new music from Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar is the leader of the new school of this whole generation. Um, I know everybody gives the crown to Drake. And I'm not. (laughs) Drake definitely has a crown. He definitely has a kingdom. Just like J. Cole got a crown. J. Cole got a kingdom. But personally, Kendrick Lamar is the best to me. Really? He's the best because he's quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get a lot of Kendrick Lamar features. Mm. You know, he don't just be throwing out songs every now and then. You get bodies of work Mm. in the form of albums, and that's it. And he still has such a mysterious mystique about him when it comes to celebrity because he'll put out an album and you won't hear from him for three years. Mm. You won't hear from him for four years. He's not all over social media. You know what I'm saying? He makes you wonder what he's up to. He has a whole kid and no one even knows. Really? <laughs> a whole one? As opposed to what, Taylor? Half? A quarter? <laughs> like, as in, it could be half if she's still baking, but she's not. Oh, she gave birth to it out of her vagina. I was, yeah, I was talking about the art. Jesus. But you just said. He's a private person is what you're trying to say. I'm just waiting on new Kendrick Lamar music <laughs> is what I'm saying. That's essentially what I'm saying. Yes. Anything else? What else, Taylor? Um, what else I meant to. Uh, you guys scroll past this, but you oh. mentioned it. You know, Gilly going off on Wack 100. I just you love Gilly, man. Positive. I love Gilly. I love Wallow. I love Million Dollars. Can we get them on the pod game. already? Yeah, yeah. I love Wallow those would guys. love to do it. I know Gilly would do it. Like, I love, I, like, they, those two right there are the epitome of not making no excuses. Mm-hmm. Gilly's always been able to reinvent himself. And I think people really miss the fact that Wallow was in jail for 20 years. Years. I didn't know he was locked up for 20 years. Wallow's only been home. Wallow, Wallow hasn't been home four years yet. <laughs> Wallow has not been home four years. Wallow did 20 years for what? in prison. Uh, I think armed <coughs> robbery or something like that. How do you do 20 years for just robbing somebody? Yeah, be black. But he's Indian, isn't he? Wallow? Yeah. Why, Why do you say think that? that? I thought he was Indian. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do you thought Wallow that? was Indian? He looks Indian. No. <laughs> Well, ain't not Indian. Not that I know of. Bring it up. Or West Indian, bare minimum, where they got a little Indian in them. I'm not sure. Everyone has a little Indian. Uh, but yeah, I mean. But like, his videos are so funny when he's like walks up into him. <laughs> Have you ever seen that on Instagram? And it's just like that. Oh, they're those great. guys are great, man. But you know, like once again, you can't teach what those two yeah, brothers Yeah, that's just have. chemistry. It's that's just, just natural <clears throat> chemistry. They're, they're fucking that's hilarious. That's it. They're cousins. They're family. They oh, know I didn't each know they're family. Yeah, they're, really, yeah. they're cousins. Dude, like, and that cousins. Gilly guy's hilarious, too. Without right? trying. That's my Effortless. Effortless. Effortlessly, yeah, man. Like, yeah. effortlessly. And they really- So good, dude. And they speak for, like, a community of people that are not necessarily being heard in these uh-huh. spaces. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can't fake what they got. I love, I love Million Dollars Worth of Game. And they really got something to tell you because they OGs who've done it. And lived right. it. Like if Wallow's telling you to stay your ass out of the street for X, Y, and Z reasons, you should listen to that man. He yeah. did 20 years. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's yeah. telling you things for your own good. Same thing with Gilly. Gilly was really in the street. Gilly wasn't just a motherfucker that was rapping. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I got I, I just I, in that episode with Wack, my God, those are three, those are three motherfuckers who absolutely need to get paid to talk shit. Uh. <laughs> Gilly, Wack, and Wallow. All need to get paid to talk shit. So you put them in the room and just to hear them going back and forth, their banter, they're yelling at each other, they're screaming at each other, but you know it's not disrespectful. You just know that's just how that they talk. real motherfuckers talk when they get together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It ain't no ego. It ain't no, you know, arrogance. It ain't no beef about to pop off. Right, it's just right. we going to talk loud. Yeah, we going to yeah. be aggressive. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. That, that don't know are going to be scared. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's that. Blueface looked mad scared when there was going He, he wasn't used room. to it. <laughs> Wait, really? Why? What he was in the that? room. He just looked like sure. shook when Gilly started yelling and everything. <laughs> and Wack was just being calm. That's the beauty. I love I love a person who's just being calm, pushing buttons. 
He was just being calm, pushing buttons. That's what he does. Yo, 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 yo. Don't get upset at Birdman because you couldn't get hot on the <laughs> label. Ooh. Ooh. I can't believe Gilly Ooh. fell for that. Though. I can't believe Gilly fell for that. <laughs> yo. Yeah. What happened? He started. He just, oh, I got to listen. I got to listen. <laughs> it was good. It was a great, it was a great pod. Their podcast is always great. Though. Wallow's not at all Indian or anything? Or? <laughs> no. Let me call him now. Yeah, but I'm gonna, hold on, doesn't I'm he seem him. West Indian, but like, like Guyana or some shit like that? I'm you saying that because why? Because of his face, where he looks like his nose and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, he just his facial features oh, kind of look call, like let it. Me call me, call Wallow. Hold on. You gonna hook it up to the computer? Yeah, we got to get them on the pod, man. That'd be That's great. My guy, I'm gonna call Wallow right now. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna connect. Yeah, let me, let me go. See. Let me see if Wallow picks up. I got to put it on speaker? No. Just regular call. Oh, shit. Come on, buddy. We got technology out here. It's Wakanda. <laughs> well, I guess we won't find out if Wallow's Indian today, guys. <laughs> Maybe part. I'm sorry. The part nope. Maybe he'll call back. We'll see. Hey, I want to tell you about Cushy Dreams, okay? Cushy Dreams offers a full lineup of premium smokable CBD. They specialize in extraordinary CBD rich hemp flower, a.k.a. bud, and pre-roll CBD joints, okay? Looks like high-quality marijuana, feels like high-quality marijuana, and tastes like high-quality marijuana. Cushy is 100% hand-trimmed, never machine-trimmed. Each batch is slow-cured for two to four weeks to guarantee maximum freshness and preserve flavor and cannabinoids. Best of all... It's grown in the USA, okay? Uh, listen, you know, I love CBD. I, I put it on my forehead. I love the cream. I love to smoke it. The reason I really love to smoke it because it just makes me feel grown. Like when you're sitting there with like a, a nice little glass of cognac and you, you know what I'm saying? It's blowing on something that relaxes your mind and lets your conscience free, okay? And you can enjoy all the health benefits of CBD without getting high. Uh, it's cannabis that ships directly to you and it's legal in all 50 states. Join the men and women who are sick of vapes and gummies and want to smoke their CBD. Go to CushyDreams.com to get some high quality CBD bud. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. That's Cushy, K-U-S-H-Y, Dreams.com, promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Cushy Dreams, smoke your CBD. This episode has also been brought to you by a company that's going to solve... The problem of getting your golfing friend, father, husband, son, a gift that he actually will enjoy. Okay, another golf-themed novelty item is not going to cut at this upcoming holiday. Get the golfer in your life something that will make a difference that they can see in their game, feel on their feet. Giving socks as a gift is no joke. Okay, features, that's F-E-E-T, U-R-E-S, has engineered a sock specifically tailored for the Lynx, baby. They're elite golf socks. Keep feet cool, dry, and blister-free while providing a custom-like fit that won't bunch or slip during your backswing. Features is a proud, family-owned business. Hugh Gaither founded the company in 2002, and now he and his sons, John and Joe, own and operate the company in North Carolina. Their mission? To create products that help you achieve your personal best. Okay, features helps you achieve your best every single day now on and off the golf course too. each pair of features are made with an anatomical design that conforms to the left and right foot for the molded fit that prevents blisters. Those blisters are bad. I know golf looks easy. I'm telling you, it tears apart your hands, tears apart your feet. And if your friend that you're getting this gift for, even if it's for yourself, you know what the hell we're talking about. Get some socks that will help improve your game by allowing you to get back out there so you're not stumbling all over the uh, the course. Uh, look, there's a lifetime guarantee. Features are so durable and long-lasting that if you're unsatisfied at any point, they'll give you a replacement pair, no questions asked. Will you look at that, all right? Feature socks will change how you feel about socks forever. And you can get $10 off your first pair of features when you use the code IDIOTS at features.com. That's F-E-E-T-U-R-E-S.com. Promo code IDIOTS for $10 off your first pair of features. Let's get back to the show. What else, Taylor Gang? Um, Michael B. Jordan, he is uh, producing this. I'm sorry. Michael B. Jordan is producing this shock or static shock. Static shock movie. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that. <clears throat> what else? And Michael Jordan, he is opening a second health clinic All right. for Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> won't care about it next week. Um, right. Okay. Won't care about either of those two stories next week, but salute to the Jordans doing amazing things. J-Lo facing backlash, calling herself Negrita. Explain this to me, Alex. 
What's Negrita? It's kind of like an endearing term for darker skin uh, Latinas. Okay. Yeah. Or Latin. well, why is she catching flag for that? Because she's considered black. more light skin. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was for. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, let's this do is, No, this is is really interesting discussion. We're having it on flavoring, but okay. it, this is like it's really cool, but I also understand why there's some pushback and like animosity. Okay. Right? Because in in Latin culture, nicknames are all often like super obvious. It's really funny. Like if you're short, they'll just call you, I don't know, I don't know bajo, bajito, or something like that. Hombre shorty. <laughs> Literally that. If you're fat, they just call you gordo. Gordo. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And it's just like if you're skinny, they call you flaco. They would always call me flaco. Right. Okay. Like, and it's just part of the culture, an accepted thing. If, uh, but if you're darker skin, they call you negro or negra or negrito, <gasps> negrita. What did you say? Negro. <laughs> I think y'all got them in the Get it this close. Might be the- <laughs> okay. Blame the Hispanics. Ch- chop, and, chop and screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not do that. They will do that if you say that. Man, that'll be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew oh, video. No, uh, it will not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to put salsa on all this shit. Get out of here. So... So uh, I'm sure there's a lot of darker skin black, uh, like there's a lot of darker skin Hispanics that are seeing her call herself that. And she's like, yo, hold up. And they're like, yo, people of your skin color have been looking down upon people of my skin color because there's a lot of colorism within the Latin culture. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm sure they're like, yo, this fucked up. Now you want to call yourself Negrita. Like what's going on here now that it's like it's cool to be black and Latin now that black Latin people are are like embracing their black roots. There's the Afro Latino movement. Was she referencing herself when she said that? Yeah, yeah. But so so I can understand the pushback. Like they're like, oh, now that it's cool to be black, and now that everybody's pro black, now that now all of a sudden you want to be black when you were making fun of that before, you were looking down on that before. So I can understand the animosity that goes there. It's probably no different than like I'm sure there are like Africans that were made fun of in school by black people. Mm-hmm. And now they're seeing black people embla- embrace their like African heritage. So they're going, Oh, now that, you know, black Panther comes out. Now you want to fuck with us before you used to make fun yeah. of us. That being said, when you look at how important JLo is to the Latin community, her embracing her black roots, because I'm sure as like a child of the diaspora, she has African heritage. Right. And her like taking that term in, I think it's really empowering. It's really cool. You know, and I think like a lot of black people maybe that will grow up, a lot of young like black girls will grow up that are Hispanic and they'll be like, oh, she calls herself Negrita as well. Oh, people aren't using it as like a, a term of endearment that maybe isn't seeming as beautiful, but it can be beautiful. I anyway. just feel like y'all like to fuck with J-Lo about saying N-words every every so often. That Remember, could be the case they, too. They I get mad at her back in the day for saying the word, for the, the nigga back in the day? Not back in the day. It was J-Lo. retrofitted. I don't she think she went through it at all when she it. did the song. No, she, she, no, she, she did. She she got got back back really? Day. The song with Ja Rule. Wow. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Nobody gives Fat Joe any smoke. That's what about I'm saying. That it makes, He's whiter that, than it, me. It makes no sense. Yeah. Huh? Fat Joe's whiter than me, bro. Fat Joe is like, you no. just translucent, bro. He's definitely more Fat Joe? Yeah. Fat Joe? It's there's it's no it. way. Fat Joe is the color of like the paper you put meat in. Nah, nah, nah. He's he's like well buttered popcorn. Yeah, there we go. Bro. You're like white cheddar popcorn. He's like the butter <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> You're a white cheddar. I'm as white as it You're gets. Cheese popcorn. I'm as white as it gets. Fat Joe, you can see through. No, no you man. You tell me that man's darker than me, bro. Hell no. Come on, bro. That's Joe Crack. Who's the Joe Crack? He looks like DJ Gluttony. Nah, Fat Joe ain't big no more. <laughs> come he on, he come on, bro. Let me do my play off the Deadly Sins. You don't look like DJ Envy. Yo, Joe, he's a comedian. <laughs> All right? Andrew Schultz is a comedian. Fat Joe put hands on I him. know. He... If he catch me. <laughs> come on, Fat Joe. Yeah. Come on, everybody get know, these jokes. I don't know if he retired yet. Hey, he got some stories. Listen, come listen, on, bro. Listen, I'm tired listen, of rappers not having listen, a sense of humor. Fat, Y'all talking all that shit. You better listen, have a sense of fat, humor. He bro. got a sense of humor. Fat Joe and Terror Squad heard Andrew say, if he can catch me, challenge. <laughs> <laughs> challenge. <laughs> okay. Come on, bro. Let's let's do some um, Ask an Idiot, Taylor. Okay. So... Not included pod wants to know what's worse, wasting time or giving up? What's worse, wasting time or giving up? I think giving up. Uh, I think waste. I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the one I think. Yeah. 
giving up because you just don't know if you're wasting time. Like exactly. A, because, you know, you could be chasing a dream or chasing something you want to do for years. I'd rather spend my entire life trying to achieve a goal than spend my entire life wishing I did. Absolutely. Yeah. And you don't know if you're going to achieve it, if you if you give up. You might give up too soon. You ever seen that meme that shows yeah. the person that's been digging, 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 and, and they literally got one more dig to go, and they've been digging forever, mm -hmm. and they give up, and that shit is literally right there mm -hmm. on the other side. So, yeah, I think I think um, giving up. Oh, this Wallow right here. Hold on. <laughs> Wallow! My man, how you been, man? Peace, King. Listen, I'm on. I'm on the podcast. I'm recording the podcast right now. My my okay. guy, my guy Andrew Schultz. He has a question for you. Wallo, I'm a big fan of your Instagram, man. Andrew, I think it's what's great. Up, Andrew, how you doing, man? What's up, man? You have probably the most entertaining Instagram that I follow. I I thought that you were part Indian. Is that not true at all? I really don't know what I'm part. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, but I know I'm part something. I don't know. Like I thought I was. I be, I don't. People be saying Dominican, Ethiopian. They be saying all types of shit. Yeah. So okay, I'm not the only person that's thought that. No. No. Hell. No. Thank I'm you. They were all looking at me crazy. Everybody think like when I wear my like when I wear my gold chains on my neck uh, under my shirt, they be thinking like I'm a like some type of Latino baseball player. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> like straight up. I, and I have my baseball hat on. People be thinking like, "Man, is you Dominican?" I'm like, yeah. "Oh, that's, that's, I don't know." You see what I'm saying? I don't know if like, you know, my mom did some other. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, who she did? Was it my dad? Was it some Indian dude? I don't. Was it some some Dominican dude? I don't. You really don't be knowing shit. You know. You never, you never did a DNA test, Wallo? No, you know what? I'm thinking about doing one, like uh, ancestry. Yeah. Ancestry dot dot com. Yeah. African, I'm thinking about African ancestry is a good one too. I'm, you well, know what? I gotta check that joint out. I'm gonna check them out, and I'm probably gonna just go ahead and sit and figure it out because I just be going with the flow. I don't be knowing. I'm just they be like, you, you mix with something. So, you know, it depends on the conversation and where it's going at. If the conversation is good and I'm interested, I'm whatever they think I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might be, I might be Ethiopian today. I might be oh. Indian tomorrow. I might be Dominican next week. You know, I that's how you gotta go. I you gotta you. roll with that shit, man. That's hey, me. hey, Wallow, man! When you get some time, you got to come on the podcast, man. We I'm ready, it. man. I can listen. I'm listen. I don't do no Zoom shit. I'm pulling up. I'm coming. To Let's New York. go. That's Wallow, what we want. I don't do Zoom. I, like for real, for real, me and Gil yeah. might bump us reference club just to bring the light. Just, just to let people know, yo, you got to come in the building. Stop all that skit. Like, come on, come in the building. Yeah, man. We, it, we, man. we got a couple guests coming next week. You know what I mean? They got to start coming in the building. Yeah. If, if you. I don't, I don't like, I don't, we do not do Zoom. I don't fuck with Zoom with no, with no, no podcast or no interview and shit. I need all, we right there. So, cause the energy is different. Yep. I'm with the you. vibe is different. Yep. It's like, people feel, that's just like you interviewing somebody that you never interviewed before, you never met before. It's different than when you seeing them come through your spot, y'all talking before the energy. Absolutely. Is relaxed. Now they, now they want behind the screen, they want to play this professional shit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I know you smoke weed and drink liquor. They have bar fights, but you, you try to act like you don't now. You ain't gonna talk about it. You know what I mean? Because they're trying to be, oh, they sending it, they got their house all clean back in. That's why every time, even on Zoom meetings, I'll be driving in the car, I'm down in the hood, I'm here, I'm there. I'm not, because it's like, why is everybody crib so neat all of a sudden? And we're on Zooms and shit. I don't be understanding that shit. That's a little suspect. I think you capping, you capping on the Zoom. They call it Zoom capping. Zoom <laughs> capping. I feel you. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna hit you up later, Wallo. Hit me up, man. All, all, right, right, all love. I'll be up there. All right, peace, peace, man. Listen, I'm telling you, those guys are funny. No, man. Uh, those absolutely. guys are great. That Jeffrey Tubin, you seen that oh, guy? Oh uh, yeah, that's I meant. But to free say. him though. That's fucked up. What happened to him? He don't, he shouldn't be fired. Not at all. Nothing should happen to him. No, he should be suspended. Why? You For not knowing how why? technology works at 60 years old? Yes, and you can't jack off while you yes. on the Zoom. Yo, but bro. here's the thing. This is the, the important part of the story that everybody's leaving out. They stopped. The Zoom. Okay, so they were doing a reenactment of some election shit, mm -hmm. right? Then they took a 10-minute break. He went to beat off and muted his shit, thinking that would mute the video as well. He doesn't know you can't mute video. The go turn. to your room. Exactly. Damn, you got the laptop right there. Why am I going to go to the room? I don't jack off. But why do you have to... What's making you turn on right now anyway? Listen, I think you Somebody on that Zoom. Yeah. Somebody on that Zoom had them open. And I, I think the new name for jacking off on Zoom should be called Tubin. <laughs> I think so. I'm serious. 
I'm Tubin going to perfect, yo. I'm going to Tubin. I'm just saying, I feel bad for the guy because this old dude doesn't know anything about technology. He, his intent was right. He thought he muted the whole thing. He thought he stopped the video. He beat off on his computer, which yeah. is how everybody beats off. Apparently, that's the thing, though. People have been sending me videos since yesterday when I gave him Donkey today. Like, people keep sending me mad Zoom videos of people, of being people off. forgetting to turn off the Zoom and they oh, jacking yeah. off. I'm like, why? We had a girl on Breakfast Club that said that she just be doing oh, it. Oh, no, she did that. She did. She said she'd be putting her. She was like, man, they be, that should be so boring. So she'll stop the video and just start watching porn and just start going at it. That's a double standard, bro. That's literally what Jeffrey Tubin did. You're going to get this guy fired. I don't think he should be fired. <laughs> um, I, you, you, this gotta, you got you to gotta suspend him for the unprofessionalism. But he was, tr I always go off of intent. Mm -hmm. His intent was to be professional. His intent, he literally thought, what, like, because what, what? otherwise, what, he muted the audio because he just didn't want you to hear him jerk off, but watch him? That's weird. But if you're in a meeting, imagine, <laughs> I look at it like this. Imagine it's a real staff meeting. Yep. Everybody's in the conference room. Yep. You can't just be like. Nah, because the second you leave the <clears throat> meeting, he thinks he's left the meeting. The second you leave the meeting, you're out of the conference room. You're in your own so space. So even if you just leave the conference room, you're walking down the hall. You can't do this. It's not the hall. It's no longer the office. He's outside. <laughs> or he's just, at his home. I just don't think you should jerk off in a professional setting. He was trying not to. <laughs> he was trying not to. He was too old to not do it. That's my point. He's old, that, bro. That is a good question. Imagine though. one of your parents. Imagine your dad. Yeah. They're I mean, going to end up jerking off on Zoom. It is a good question, though. I do want to know what the fuck got into him. What did he see that he made him that say, plan. I got to jerk this shit right now? He had now. that plan, bro. He had that plan the whole time. That blue chew? He knew, maybe it was that blue chew. Mm. He popped that chew at the beginning of the meeting. That shit started to go in. He knew he had a 10 minute break. He was going to crank that thing out. Soldier boy. <laughs> I don't, listen, by the way, Zoom. Zoom, listen, Zoom is stressful as a motherfucker. Yeah. I do have to do things to mentally prepare myself to get on Zoom. Really? I hate Zoom interviews. I hate Zoom calls. Actually, this week on The Breakfast Club, there's a couple of interviews this year that we did on Breakfast Club. One in particular, the Nas interview. I'm so mad that shit was on Zoom. Yeah. I don't fucking interview no Nas on no goddamn yeah, Zoom. Yeah, you want to be in the room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Fuck that. You. And I'm going to tell you something else when it comes to interviews. You feel like a pussy. Why? Because, I don't mean to say pussy. There's nothing wrong with pussy. I love pussy. I don't know why we call things that we uh, don't like something that we enjoy. But I don't, I'll just take that word back. I just don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because if I want to ask you a real question, like one of those. Hard hitters? Yeah. Yeah. You feel like a sucker doing it over Zoom. Because you have safety. There's some Yeah. Protection. Not the same stakes. Nah, man. When you're in somebody's face. Bye. That's when you, that's, that's when you can really hit him with it. Like That's Charlemagne right there. Like, damn, bro. man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, by the way, that was, you know, th this week, uh, th this uh, another thing about the internet. There's a clip going around of me interviewing Danny Green from 2013. This is how I know people are really fucking slow online. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they cut the clip to where I, it's me asking Danny Green. So it's Tim Duncan bisexual, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. People were posting that clip and acting like this shit was a new interview. Like, they were like, Danny Green's fresh off a championship for the Lakers. He visited, he's been doing interviews. He visited Hilarious. the Breakfast Club, whatever. whatever. Yeah. I'm like, yo, the studio looks different. My face looks different. They don't care. It's, just, it's 2013. Yeah, they don't care. This is hilarious. Like, there's nothing new about this. Let where, me see that page. Where was he that. in 2013? Was he with the Spurs? The Spurs! Yeah, yeah. Charlamagne the God should be arrested after he asked Danny Green this question. <laughs> Arrested? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot, bro. Arrested? Man? I think arrested is like new slang. Uh, Notorious <laughs> radio host personality to the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne the God, asked a bizarre and totally random question to Danny Green. This interview is seven years old, but it has been brought back to the light, and it is just the weirdest and random question ever. He asked Green, "Is Tim Duncan bisexual?" And you. Maybe saying that is weird, but what was the context? The previous question was asking Danny, where was he from in New York? Here's the clip. Now, I personally have never heard the rumors of Tim Duncan being bisexual. That's because you don't do your Googles. And quite frankly, I do not believe there's any rumors of that. And Charlemagne is simply coming up with those on his own. Lies. I know he <laughs> is known as a very controversial personality, and I guess that is his stick, but this was just bizarre. Another Twitter user found this clip of a question he asked, Logic. And when I tell you he should be thrown in jail, just watch it for yourself. Once again... All of this shit is taken out of context. The Restraint Logic show should have won him a Nobel Peace Prize or something because I do not know if I could have gracefully moved on to the next question. The question I would bring up is, does Charlemagne have that much pull and that big of a fan base where he has not been kicked off of the show? I mean, who is he? Like, what is he known for outside of the show? Anyway, he is wild. The audacity he has in his shtick is not even remotely funny. The best thing I can associate him with is the Birdman interview because that was legendary and the only thing he had to do with it was he just simply 
was he was just simply in the room with him. Lies! Once again, it was my line of questioning that got Birdman to act like that. Birdman came in there angry because, of the, because of the things that I've said about him in the past. Furthermore, if you do your fucking research, pull it up, Alex. <laughs> nah, nah, this is too crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You, you, <laughs> that's nuts. That's son, nuts. Yo, <laughs> yo that's son, nuts. you are a that's wild nuts. ass. Yeah, I, was, I, I was wild. I was wild. <laughs> yeah, pull, pull up. Pull up. Um, oh go, go to go to yo, Tim. Son. Go to Tim Duncan bisexual. Wait, which one? Google Tim Duncan bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Jeffrey Tubin ass motherfucker. I was a wild boy. <laughs> I was a wild boy. <laughs> you know you're nervous, but you start yeah, you're scratching, scratching hair he don't have. <laughs> now, no, 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 no. Put Tim Duncan. That's what came up when you Google Tim Duncan bisexual. Put Tim Duncan bisexual and put wife. And I'm gonna show you where I got this question from in 2013. I'm gonna I'm I'm show y'all who don't do your research. Okay, oh now I want you. Now look, 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 look at all these. Look at all these headlines. Check Chicago Defender, <laughs> October fourth, two thousand fourteen. Tim Duncan is gay, says a strange wife. Wife, wife claims Yo, Tim Duncan is bisexual. I can't watch this shit no more. <laughs> Yo, I gotta pee. Yeah. You know what's funny? On Ask Idiot, listen, 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 a listener oh, oh, asked. Vlad TV, wife of Tim Duncan claims the five-time NBA yeah. champ is bisexual. EliteDaily.com, ex-wife of Tim Duncan claims that he's bisexual. You know where I got that story from, you fucking idiots? I got that story from the fact that... Uh, no, click on it. Click on one of the articles. Click News 1. Click News 1. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, right there. Uh, 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 right, right there. Cause it's on mad websites, but y'all niggas don't, not niggas, but you stupid motherfuckers don't do research. Okay, posted July 24th, 2013. The headline is, wife claims Tim Duncan is bisexual and heated divorce proceedings. NBA San Antonio Spurs icon Tim Duncan pictured is immersed in a messy divorce that is getting slimier by the day. Uh, hold on, let me get to the part. Um, reportedly, an unidentified source told the blog that Duncan had been involved in a gay relationship during his Wake Forest University days. Um, what's the thing about his wife? Yes, Amy. Yes, Amy said allegedly said this in the divorce proceedings. Yeah, Amy treated Tim like a bitch throughout their marriage because she knew he was fucking his BFF. Listen, I don't know if that shit is true or not. All I'm simply saying is I didn't pull that out of my ass. That wasn't <laughs> a random question. It's about it's a it's literally that's bossa right. There's literally a million articles about. That and his wife allegedly saying that in the divorce proceedings. That's why I asked Danny Green that because at the time Danny Green was playing for the San Antonio Spurs. Now, would I have would I ask that question in 2020? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? But in 2013, 2014, or whenever that was, yes, I was a wild boy. You know, someone actually asked that. They said, "Is Tim Duncan gay?" Question mark. I, <laughs> I just don't like the fact that they act like I make this shit up. Same thing with Logic. Logic mentioned that about his sister twice in that interview. Twice. I was responding to what he said. Like, I'm not just out there asking random nut-ass shit to be asking random nut-ass shit. And, the, and how do these things go viral seven, eight years later with no context? Like, people just take them and literally somebody, one one website posted that Danny job, Green shit. Man. It's a wild shit back in the day. That's it. Yeah, but they're so cutting that it, That wasn't though. wild, yeah, though. but if they need something to click on, let me just pull some they old probably shit do. You're probably on the story. top of the list. I'd be like, all right, it's a slow week. Like, let's yeah, just get let some let of the first time. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> For real. Let's get some retro Charlemagne clips. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> God damn. Whatever, man. Listen, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it there I was one it. like if y'all could be I can't find the person who said it but it was like if y'all could be um, in any be a professional ath professional why can I not talk professional athlete what sport would y'all be basketball of course basketball my oh, man. Nothing, not, nothing better than basketball baby basketball players move basketball players and Megan Thee Stallion have a lot in common because they like tall and they're thick, but they move so gracefully. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So uh, basketball, baby. I want to do basketball all day long. That's it, guys. 
You think we did it? I think we got it, bro. All right. <laughs> Listen, if you listen to this podcast and you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.